jeez. A lot of negative reviews on the Trash to Cash podcast page. I don't even know. Should we even do that? It's not even a good reselling podcast, according to these. I don't know. Carrie, Carrie, come here. Come here, buddy. We got to talk about this. These reviews are brutal. What's up, man? It's actually good you're in town. Uh, I don't know. It's like... What's going on? Well, we're getting a lot of negative reviews on the on the podcast really? and i called kevin he didn't want to talk he didn't he said he doesn't have time he's busy he's got some convention i don't know what it's about Gosh, man it's typical kevin. look at this wednesday just a few days ago uh these guys spend a lot of time laughing loudly and hysterical amongst themselves i tried a couple episodes but got nothing out of it except for annoyed uh, we do our best you know and then listen to this from from steve on the fourth too much banter no value literally no value like why are you even uh, what are we doing if we're not offering value? That's I'm weird. A, it's upsetting a little bit. He said, usually when you listen to a podcast, you learn to hear something interesting. Instead, we listen to three pros. And he put that in quotations. Like, we're not pros. I've been doing this 12 years, man. And he made a good point. We're not even top rated plus I've been a, I've on been eBay. adapting and everything. He said, we're not top rated plus on eBay. Which we're not. That's true. He said, talk, they talk about their lives, which no one cares about. Like, that hurts. That I thought people cared. But they don't like care. It. I felt like we had a connection with like a few Not viewers. sure how they got their following. Maybe Dave should look for another avenue to monetize social media. Because listening, listening to him trying to talk about reselling is like... And then I think he just died because he didn't write anything else. <sighs> yeah, he had a lot of heavy things to say. So, I don't know. Then there's this meh review, the equivalent of a bag of chips. Lots of dead... Like, what are we doing? Like, maybe we should watch some of the episodes. I guess. Like, some of the... Do like a little playback and see... It's kind of got me bummed right. out at this point. Yeah. But I yeah. think we should look and see if they're right and see if it like really okay. is as bad as he's saying. Let's check Let's out. I had this set of clips here we could watch first. Yeah, the Funkos, I, yeah. But like the retro art on some of the, like, like the Star Wars ones, the retro art's like part of the... See, I don't have any like that. Part of the appeal. You'll have to show me one of those. I've never... The guy I watch doesn't really auction anything good. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's true. I got like these Simpsons. That's Did true. I get these Simpsons from you, Marge and Bart? These are so yeah. freaking dirty, dude. I told you they were jacked <laughs> up, so dude. so dirty. <laughs> dude, I told you. It's not like I'm going to take the time to clean them oh, before I, I sell them. This, though. I got a Barney Rubble that's like Rick Moranis Barbie, Barney Rubble. Barbie Rubble. And he's really awesome. Barbie? He makes me happy. He makes my heart smile. And you got that for like I a know, buck, yeah. too. So don't, don't go do. talking trash to me. It's not like you paid big trash money for cash? this. I can't even go get something from Taco Bell right now. What would you money. get if you're going to Taco Bell? If yeah. I could eat anything and no, I'm not on not. like a diet, because honestly, I eat straight bean burritos because I, I don't like I can't eat anything on that menu right now because of like I'm trying okay, to lose weight. Could. But if I could eat anything, it'd be like a like a like a gordita crunch. Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably. a good That's a staple. That's a delicious one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not an animal. I know. I like all the the specials. I want I want diarrhea before yeah. I start eating. <laughs> Well, since you said you're in a constant state of diarrhea anyways, I think it's fine. you just like, because here's the thing. If you have diarrhea and then you... Let's edit out the rest <laughs> of the podcast and just get straight to this. <laughs> Could that yeah, be the start I of the podcast? So. You're in a constant heard, state of diarrhea. Anyway. I've heard that if you're in a constant state of diarrhea, then you eat foods that give you diarrhea and it, it actually hardens it up into a nice molded clump of poo. <laughs> Exactly. And we just lost 10 subscribers. Thanks for stopping yeah, by, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're This is metaphor. This is not li literal. Uh, okay. Seriously, though, I would probably get, mm, I don't know, it used to be Crunchwrap Supreme, but they've really lowered their standards on those, those here, and they're not putting enough meat anymore. That's true. It's really disappointing. So I probably would do the... It's just, I think Taco Bell at this point is just happy that you used the word standard in the yeah. same <laughs> sentence. No matter what the context. Okay, so they have every now and then the nacho fries. Have you ever had those? Yeah, I don't like them. Bro, they're a decadent delight. I like the nacho cheese, but I don't like, do like the Baja seasoning Blast on the fries, Mountain dude. Do you like Baja Blast Mountain Dew? Yeah, I, I can get down with that. It's not code red. Okay. Okay. You know, the oh, yeah. I love fake Mexican food. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I can eat fake Mexican food all no day No joke. Long, but... Moving from SoCal to Utah, Taco Bell tastes different. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. Like, I remember I as a kid, it, it was like, it, it tasted different. Like, it was better in California. Dude, yeah. I've got all these LA people in my life, and every time I go to California, they give me some garbage, nasty Mexican food that's Yoshinoya's. Go to Yoshinoya's. I love that place. Disgusting. You want good Mexican food? <laughs> Taco Bell, Crunchwrap <laughs> Cream, Baja. I like Taco Bell. <laughs> As a Californian, I'd say Del Taco, but that's okay. No, Del Taco sucks too. I've been there too. Yes. You want to eat good fake Mexican food? Del Taco is at well, and it's even got some good spices. It's yeah. good stuff. But I'm gonna give you them. French fry. You can eat French fries and a burrito. Where else can you get a French fry? You could get a hamburger and a burrito. 
you could get a burrito and a hamburger and a burrito with french fries on top yeah that's true that's i have an idea for a youtube channel by the way a cooking youtube channel i want to make a cooking youtube channel where i just pull random recipes off the internet and just make them and try them and see if they're awful and First, sell them on whatnot like low rated recipes that's awesome that's a great way to like make a video but have no one watch i have a lot of time so i think i'm gonna make <laughs> yeah, I'm like yeah start a new channel on something you don't know anything about <laughs> brilliant dude i know how to cook okay all right fine no <laughs> the problem is no one's ever gonna find that that's not like that. a good bolo if no one can ever find bolo. it bolo it's not a bolo okay so what did, is your did bolo? i not just say that carrie well I yeah know, but we could talk about taco bell that's also not a bolo but it's not on subject <laughs> Mountain Dew bottles. Yeah. These you've ever seen the long skinny bottles like the, the long carnivals yeah. and fairs? I have Those two. Actually sell. I have a Coke one and a Pepsi they one. Actually sell. Uh, I I never listed them because I didn't want to ship them. Oh why? It's not I just hard keep to them. ship those. It's nothing. It's easy. Oh, I sold them. I sold them. I actually think Dew I one. threw them out I when the I moved. The only Mountain Dew ones listed on eBay. Sold them for yeah. fifty bucks plus shipping. I threw them both out when yeah. I moved. Seventies. I had them in North Carolina. Seventies are hot, y'all. Because I didn't want to. Seventies are hot. Yeah. Yeah. So my bolo of the week is Kevin's merch. Go ahead and sell that on whatnot, <laughs> yeah, eBay. You can make a profit on Kevin's merch. If you've got an Enemin, the old one, in your little shop there that keeps your sales moving, put that baby up on eBay. You're going to make huge profit. Just on wait. I'm down yeah, to the last box. This is a bolo box. that's in your house I'm already. Down to the last box. Just wait till they're all gone. <laughs> yeah. How you guys been? I feel like I haven't <laughs> talked to you in a week. I know. Where have you been, man? Other than getting uh, mm. Taco Bell, and you're going to probably have diarrhea very, very mm. quickly. So if you need I'm, to leave... <laughs> you just got a drink? I doubt no. that. Well, listen, I got a drink and a gordita, crunchy, cheesy, crunchy gordita. I don't know, and two soft shell tacos. You gotta look, wash I that down. My lighting with my Baja oh, wow. Blast. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kerry, nice, you've created man. a monster. He has serious like people. Care He's out of about, control. Now, what his yeah. stories? It's everywhere. It, like I care <laughs> about him going through the drive-through. I don't care about your life, Dave. Dude, did you care. see what he, he ate for? Do. Did you did you see what he ate for lunch or breakfast too? I mean, this man <laughs> is just putting no vegetables. I don't think there's ever been a vegetable <laughs> into your body, dude. You're dude, like I, literally a twelve-year-old. I love it. I don't understand resellers, people. Resellers are a different breed of people. Yeah. I mean, they right. work a lot. Full time resellers are like a completely different breed of people. They True. work in, but they're most like Carrie. Like, they can't keep a job at Taco Bell. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he only got me. kicked out of Taco Bell. No, he I'm listening. Kicked out of Taco that is, Bell. But in all honesty, he is just ate too lot. much of the chalupas. There's a, a lot, lot of characteristics, those. a lot of data. <laughs> Kevin, you're a historian. Uh, is National uh, Treasure starring Nick Cage historically accurate? Mm. Yeah. Like, is there uh, really I, that I, treasure? We can go find it. Yeah, that's Dave, stuff yes. all real. That's yes, a it that's is a documentary. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. good actually, okay. dude. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> way to screw up the flow, Dave. <laughs> Seriously, this is at least it's not talking about Taco Bell. I dare yeah, guess reselling. Oh, guys. dude, I went to Taco Bell and got I ten orders of ten orders of nacho fries tonight, so and I'm feeling better. Away. Oh yeah, wash, all the way. Wash yeah. down the beans, the half a two cans John, of beans you ate. I, I would think say it's though, easy. it's like it's you the... want a short fingernail. Probably the pinky would be my mm -hmm. best picker. Yeah. The the pointer's okay, oh, but sometimes the nail's a little too long. Uh, see what I got to deal with? I told you. <laughs> Look, he's already pouring a second drink. <laughs> what are you I drinking tonight, I Kevin? I've got drink. Baja Blast <laughs> Zero from Taco Bell. <laughs> hmm? I ran out. Carry what you diet. got. I had diaphant and I ran out, so I'm just going to do this uh, with a dry mouth. Calculate into this is somebody's going to start producing those and that and getting those out because there's a huge market. If UPS doesn't or USPS doesn't use those small tubes anymore, or you can't use them without paying fifteen bucks. <laughs> fifteen bucks. That's a lot of money. Then you're going to have people knocking down your door. I mean, three. There's going to be somewhere. Taco Bell boxes. Three of them. Yeah. yeah, well, before tax. And the, whoever tax. that person is, whatever that box I use my sales tax ID now. And I ended up giving like a $40. Hi, Don. I ended up giving a $40. Uh, Carrie's talking to Don. Hold on. Don is all of a sudden more important. Don, you're listening now. You're ruining the podcast. <laughs> We're in the middle of the podcast. She wanted me. To, she interrupted to let me know she now has 2 million view TikToks and one's at 2 million. And, and she knows that in the podcast. But she wants you guys to know. Ask her to, to go know. get you the latest Lady Taco Arbitrage. Bell hotness. She wants a free shout out. D yeah, Don, Don. <laughs> Lady Arbitrage. Go check her out. It's slow. Mine's <laughs> Carrie, did, do you make Don pay for these shout outs? Yeah, yeah, how much are we getting for this? Yeah. <laughs> yep. At Don't least worry. a free Taco Bell meal. The check, 
The check is in the mail. This is a Trash to Cash podcast, and uh, this is the number one podcast in my house and also in <laughs> Carrie's house. We're, we're so. in the top 100 in Italy, entrepreneurship. Yes, entrepreneur eighty nine because yes, it's reselling based podcast. But we always start our show the same way. We always start with a Taco Bell review of the latest Taco Bell menu item. Uh, everyone, grab your Taco Bell. So today we have the chicken, the crispy chicken chipotle taco. I'm right, Carrie, I'm Kevin, you to, got yours. I'm excited to try. <laughs> Kevin, this where's one. your? Kevin, where's your taco? I do, I, I go to you know I go to the local Mexican okay, well, place listen, down the street. Kevin's had, not had, done his you homework. Had one so, assignment, Kevin. One assignment, and he didn't. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you know it's Chipotle is a jalapeno I think you guys are getting dried. sponsorships behind my mm. back. I think you're mm. not cutting me in on the Taco mm. Bell money. Dang, it's a little spicy. I'll say that. Now, did you also get I, the Baja Blast? I got a diet uh, Pepsi. I already have diarrhea. Oh. I feel it coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the problem I had with it. No, okay, let's talk about the actual item because this is how we start the show. We review this Taco Bell. We always start. We review. We try to get it in the beard. Kevin, muck, I don't it's know. It's a mukbang, I think is what they call <laughs> it's it. It's a mukbang. And I don't know why Kevin doesn't have his Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my talk about. To be honest with you, I don't even remember the assignment. So I feel like I feel like they stole the chicken from like a KFC dumpster, and then they just <laughs> reheated it. Yeah. Do I need to go check the the coop to see if there's anything missing? Kevin, are you just not a I team player? Is that here. what's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> something like that. I don't follow. I was a terrible student, much mm. like Carrie. Mm. Yes. Well, I like it. I like it. I'd give it a B plus actually for Taco Bell. Okay. It's edible. <laughs> I mean, I feel like go. anything. Thank you, you Taco, Taco Bell, Bell once again. Are, yeah, for the three. Are you old enough sponsorship. to remember Quarter Tacos? Quarter Taco mm -hmm. Night, Wednesday night. You're not old enough to remember that. I don't remember no. that. I remember they had no. a thing where like you put a coin in and then you tried to catch it and you get like a free churro and you never won. They stole your money. <laughs> now I gotta churro. run to the bathroom, guys, and I'll I'll just be right back. So. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> <laughs> The cinnamon crispers. Is that what they yeah. call them? The, the crispers cinnamon or twisters. The cinnamon twists, yes. Yeah. I worked I worked at I worked at Taco Bell. It's Surprise. Not surprising. No. Yeah. Now here's the problem I had when I went to get this at Taco Bell tonight. They the they sell it separately. The shame. Yeah, no, they sell it separately. Like the taco is like two bucks and then the drink is like two fifty. So you're at like four fifty, but then they have the deluxe box, which came with the seven layer burrito, the chalupa. And the Supreme Taco and the Chicken Taco. And I was wow. like, well, for three more bucks, I mean, I might as well. And then I went on to consume all of that before the show started. Wow. Except for the Chicken Taco. That's, so that's I'd a... say we got 30 minutes until I'm out of here. Yeah, that I was did. a mistake. <laughs> I did have Mexican for dinner tonight, for mm. sure. But, but I didn't What didn't did, what, what did you have, man? What did you have? I had the Burrito Del Rancho, minus the mm. Pico. Yeah, My, yeah no Pico for me, too. Place. Nice, bro. Well, Kevin, nice. I'm sorry. He stated he wasn't prepared, uh, and I guess we've now seen what he meant. He forgot I to know. go to Taco Bell. Oh, well. well, we were the emails were very explicit, but that's okay. <laughs> the emails, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a okay. trap. It's a trap. I feel like uh, Adam Lack. Is it Akbar? Is that his name? Yeah, Akbar. Yeah, it's yeah. a trap. Yeah. As we always do, we start with our review of the latest Taco Bell item. Oh, do we? Oh, you, you just say Taco Bell again. Or has that just been sitting there for a week? No, so no let it's, me new. Tell you, it's new. I had a viewer tell me, and I totally forgot about it, and they reminded me. I had a viewer tell me they were watching your show or something, Dave, forever ago. Yeah. Saying that you guys were going to do that to me. You were going to do that to me. Yeah. And they saw yeah. it and they sent me a message. Yep. And the guy sent me a message back and said, See, I told you so. But it was yep. like a month and a half. I'm like, how am I supposed to remember this? <laughs> yeah, that's it's right. a long, we did talk about it in the show. It's, didn't the we? it's the long play. All of our pranks are slowly built over time and perfected and thoroughly thought of. Yeah. So I always put the maximal effort. Speaking maximal. of maximal effort, maximal. let's talk me about too. our All the normal time. sponsor. Into eBay. <laughs> normal sponsor, preparation. American Beach. Bubble Boy. Oh, exactly. wait, no oh yeah. Oh, American Bubble Boy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, we have been doing our best to promote Preparation H for months and months and months. They've never reached out. They've never <laughs> yeah, talked to not us. not once. <laughs> and while they offer a great product, recently we were reached out to by Tux Medicated <laughs> oh, Wipes. Nice, Okay, yeah. so here's the thing about these medicated cooling pads. They don't have that, like, jelly feeling. Yeah. It's actually a nice, fresh feeling Smooth. on your anus. Smooth. <laughs> 
And it so if you see me squirming. It doesn't give you diarrhea at all. Yeah, if you see, we actually got the sponsorship after the Taco Bell. They saw yeah. that. They said, hey, you're going to need this. And if you see me squirming tonight, well, you won't because I have these. But if you see Carrie mm. squirming, we're, he's we're still thinking, using preparation. Yeah, we're, we're, we're thinking outside the bun. Which is if the you, one thing I learned from working at Taco Bell is to think outside of the bun. If you see me squirming, it's because of my terrible decision to be on a podcast. <laughs> it is true. It is true. Well, you get a reminded. horrible choice. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Your hey, open tailor ness is not fitting in. Hold up. The reason – here's here's the thing. I've been eating a lot of Taco Bell. I've had Taco Bell three times since our last show. Dude. So I think they're putting some sort of crack in it because I can't stop. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Kevin's Kathy, joking. I'm sorry. Sorry. The coughing is great content. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> My wife is going out to drop off her friend at the broken car, okay, that I fixed. Okay. She's on her way out to take Oh, we still are the car that I fixed. And to find She's going to drive lawyer. by Taco Bell. Do I need a second chalupa? No. Wait, did you have no? a chalupa box or just a single sad chalupa? I had a chalupa with a taco. It was like a box. And a, and a drink. It was a it was like Baja a box Blast. or it was a box? Because there's a They difference. didn't give me the box. They used to give the box, but now they don't. They just put it all in a bag. You're stress eating, aren't you? I dude, I am. There's no doubt. Like because <laughs> we packed all our silverware. So I'm just like eating fast. Do you food have all a house date? Do you have a house? Uh, no. Honestly, dude, they have a point. It's not healthy food. And, no, and it's like just Taco Bell. Like that's not, not reselling at all. I, I I sometimes feel like it's a crutch. You know, I know some like people we resell. talk about that because we don't have anything better well, to talk about. People resell those little Chihuahuas, but we don't talk about that. Like yeah. the little plush Chihuahuas. And the the, the the whole animal trading thing is yeah. not right. And it's like, what was that? Like fifteen minutes of Taco Bell talk, and I feel like there's more. Like I only found a little bit of it, but like this is a, a reselling podcast, I, and we've spent. What was that? Fifteen to twenty minutes talking about Taco Bell and diarrhea. Like how many times? Like what the I heck? Think are I we said doing? diarrhea like seven times. What's wrong with you? I have a lot of it. Yeah. 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 I mean, but I do too. And and Taco Bell it's, could be the cause. Co- but that's it's natural. It's not the point. The, the point is the show isn't beans. good. It's not a good show. It's we shouldn't even do it anymore. I think. Do we even need to talk to Kevin about this decision? He's not. He's kind of been. He doesn't care. He's been too he busy. He can't do it without. Oh, he he's might doing try. his own stuff. I mean, I, okay, so there's hope. I found some more episodes and I, I grabbed some clips and let's let's check this out. Maybe. I'm feeling down in the dumps maybe, at this point. Maybe this is it. I mean, we'll see. Someone made a Commonwealth Picker Funko Pop. Did you know this, Carrie? Come on. And I no. found it at a garage sale and I have it right here. They were You're getting rid so of excited. it. Yeah, they were getting rid of it. Yeah, I paid $15, it? but it was well worth it. There we <laughs> oh, go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I even you watched your video an hour ago, and I forgot about this. On his That's... pile of cash. <laughs> Look at that. Elderly, rich, <sighs> and just happy. Yeah, as a he's clown. usually nude, so at least he's wearing a swimsuit <laughs> in that one. So uh, a... Kevin knows how to like target it towards the elderly, and they're <laughs> fast That's and true. loose with their retirement, uh, social security money, and oh, all that. God. He okay. is going after that. Yeah. Do they? The goods. Did you see Nashville Flippers post on threads oh, about you about your hundred thousand subscribers, yes, where he I like? Saw it. He put you in the nursing home with mm, all the ladies. That was pretty cool. That was funny. <laughs> oh, I it was funny because it was true. It was nice that somebody even paid attention. Dave and Carrie didn't even have any idea. Dude. Ooh, wow. I've never had the uh, in love with me comment, but you deserve it, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin it. gets a lot mm-hmm. of those, I bet. Mm-hmm. Kevin's I'm, got a I'm lot just of... trying to say it loud enough that I get a reaction, but apparently she's not. Yeah. No, she's, I'm pretty Kevin's, sure she doesn't care. Carrie, um, Kevin slays at the nursing home. Slays. Oh, I know, dude. <laughs> Okay, so what are the people saying about your tattoo? We all want to yeah. know. Bated breath, please. Most of them are asking if it's a tattoo. They keep seeing it, and I'm just like, what tattoo? What is this stuff on your arm? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're what all in the tattoo? nursing home. They're like, is that permanent? <laughs> so one of them said. <laughs> then I asked one of them, well, you watch Commonwealth Flipper and Picker or whatever, and they said, yeah, all the time. I love him. I said, well, what about MC Picker? I watched him once or twice. There you go. Now you have it. Okay. Just I got some to things you know. to say. Bye. <laughs> First off, Sean, how many times did you have to repeat that so they heard you? Yeah. Because I'm mm-hmm. sure it was three to four times. The combined age of those three people, at least yeah. 270. And in show. Yeah, okay. That's like saying going. you went to the nursing home and asked if they've heard exactly. of Kevin. Of course exactly. they've heard of Kevin. We know that. They haven't heard of us at the nursing home. It's exactly. just the way it is. I'm on TikTok, guys. I'm a different yeah. demo. We dance. Yeah. Go and somewhere we, cool. Uh, Go somewhere we make cool. Slime and and stuff. He didn't even mention you, though. 
I know. <laughs> I'm used an to that. Because the Flipper Channel for me is the. I mean, it's. I don't know what's going on. People like to watch what's sold videos. Apparently, I think like one wow. of them's doing twenty thousand views. Video. Thirty-two thousand on the Flipper Channel. Gosh, three videos is that, ago. Is that like repeat views? If somebody falls asleep, like at the nursing home, and it just keeps <laughs> yeah. playing over and over I think, again? I think, I think. Yeah, I think so. You sell any? Yeah, you sold one. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I mentioned well, by uh, the time this comes out, they might all be gone, to be honest. And twelve sold already. So um Twelve shirts? Nine of the Trash twelve the shirts, shirts. Nine of the twelve shirts were sold to women. Oh wow. Ah, Actually it might see? be more than that because there might be multiple shirts. It's yeah, our one, adoring multiple, fans. So Everyone Kevin, that's a whole nursing home uh, wing. A wing of the nursing yeah. home bought their trash uh, cash shirts. Hey, look. Did <laughs> exactly. Put the, who put the poll up? Who put the poll up? In the, the poll? Patreon? Yeah, Carrie <laughs> did that. I saw it. It kind of hurt my feelings because I'm the least loved of the show. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit. It was a little bit tilted. I just I put old man, so Dave, Dave was... Matt, and beautiful and brilliant Carrie. And I'm still losing. You're you're winning, Kevin, even though I put you down as old man. Well, no, <laughs> probably who you Cast and I forgot okay. the one thing that mattered. Did you bring your preparation H? I got oh, tux, geez. dude. I got tux, baby. Tux medicated wipes. Uh, yeah. So these are all great solutions, guys. If you're struggling with hemorrhoids, Kevin nailed yes. this sponsor. Remember? <laughs> I nailed <laughs> this sponsor. No, I'm not he's the one who brought in preparation H as no. our newest sponsor. No. Uh, <laughs> at his Dave, nursing dude. home, he has so many people <laughs> that are using it <laughs> that he's their top <laughs> customer. That's true. Uh. Jeez, Actually, I don't know if that's tight. an elderly thing, honestly. I think I got yelled at a lot last night at the uh, Trash to Cash meetup, which we'll talk a little bit about that, too. Yeah. I got yelled at because I, I kept calling Kevin old. Yeah, and they're true. like, oh, I'm older than Kevin. I said, no, he's yeah. much, much older yeah. than anyone knows. And I told them all about Kevin's blood-sucking mm, age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see you just talking about PIs earlier. See, I'm the Rockford Files PI. See, You're that's like another Magnum reference PI? nobody <laughs> nobody understands, Kevin. The whole nursing home is laughing. I, I know. I, there's, there's, <laughs> Dave gave me a tip. There's a lot of pick up dvds this week y'all i did he said actually. if you would enjoy it pick it up because your age i'm sure right now people who are still walter matthau is rolling walter in his Ma- grave with laughter terrific, right now at the man. joke you just told i did yeah. like grumpy old man that yeah. is a really but good you one, only honestly. remember walter matthau from i just grumpy remember the old one he yeah. did some great stuff he didn't when even look like a fish back dennis then. the menace remember that one yeah so you're the talking about way back black and white it's when he was stuff. middle-aged, yeah. Walter yeah, did some, you know, like the 50s, stuff in, wild late, times. in Walter's late 50s, mm-hmm. Kevin's, you know, mm-hmm. 70s. 70s, 80s. <laughs> Who's counting at but this But thank point? you, Dave. Okay, anyway, so, I'm, I'm yeah. I'm picking up good DVDs and, and, and Blu-rays now. But, you know, we always talk about, Danny, how Kevin could clean up at the nursing home. You just do it. Like, yeah. every 80-year-old yeah. woman, you're like, yeah. you don't look a day over 77. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I think that's where Kevin gets all his hey, lines. He just listens sweet to Sweet talker. I love women. <laughs> Guy with me, as always, is Kevin, the octogenarian. And yes. down below, we have Carrie, the American arbitrage. Yes, American Kevin, you're looking rage. particularly ancient this morning. Oh, oh, thank you. Man. Appreciate that. <laughs> I don't have a hat on, y'all. I want to say, I want to prove that I listen yeah. to your boring videos. Okay. A 40 minutes of now it. 38 selling. minutes. You now had a 40-minute video. I know. I had a 50-minute video. Yeah, 50 Kevin minute is video. now it selling plush. Of his feet. I'm selling feet <laughs> plush. This yes, is you know true. that. None of this. On no, his I video, did see that. On his video. I saw that today, too. I did watch that. Uh, yeah, and it said feet on here. it. It was an anime and that said feet, feet on it. Oh, and, that's true. Yeah. Look at you yeah. did watch see? it. I did yeah. watch it. I didn't he even remember, remember that. He's so ancient. He was <laughs> my, like, favorite, oh. my favorite part of his videos is where <laughs> he pretends like he played catch with his son, but you know he Oh, really yeah, and you like that. know he just wants people to think he's a good dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he like definitely didn't <laughs> exactly. play catch with his son. That's my favorite like, guys, part of I am a video. good dad. I was right. just playing fetch with Turner. Did we say fetch or catch? Fetch. Felch. Felch. Um, and this is, I want to ask everyone this. What is your guys' like, most popular age group in your analytics for your YouTube channels? Like, because Kevin said Caleb has a younger channel. I assume Kevin has a very, very ancient channel. Like, if very 65 old. plus is like 90% of your audience, something like that. So everyone is just selling glass. It's just all <laughs> glass. And, and not only that, but they're so ancient. Tupperware no lids, offense. Just garbage. No offense to Kevin's audience, but these people are so old, they can't even muster the energy to talk to me when I show up to their sale. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just like, mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I got their cigarette hanging on. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, and wow. so 
the, way to the, alienate most of our audience, Dave. Most of Kevin's audience. They, yes, I know, I know. He's here on eBay for four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Bad dri- I'm a bad driver. He's a really bad. Driver. I know. Like, well, it's just there's lanes. Yeah. It's confusing. Like um, Tina, a bad Tina's eyesight. Like, Tina's like a perfect driver. I'm like a five out of ten. You're like a two out of ten. I'm like it's surprised I'm. There's probably I'm, worse, but yeah. I don't know them. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, honestly, yeah. at this point. He's alive. Yeah, I'm here. Mm. Hi, mm. Kevin. I've never seen Kevin drive. He's always Yeah, he's drive. always got somebody driving I drive, around. I'm, it's a good thing I don't drive big, too much. People are waving. I drive We're super waving fast. And I got you, carded the other night, FYI. Yeah. I got carded. Yeah. I had a, I, had a drink yeah. and adult beverage, and I got carded. Yeah. So Which I don't believe. Carried right. drinking since the early 80s legally, carded. and he's still Total lies. He's just lying right now. It's not It's not a lie. The great thing, and I need Steve to come here for a minute. No. Just one second, Steve. Steve, just he put your head in. can verify the card in part. I did not mean to be here. Steve is here, okay? It's so we go part. to Highway 55 with Steve and Kevin. Me, <laughs> me, Thrifter, Sifter, and Kevin. The minute we walk in, what does the waitress say to you, Steve? What do you want, old man? Okay, and then she looks at Kevin and calls him an old man, too. <laughs> so she was slamming us the whole time. She wrote our name on the cups. On Kevin, she put old man, and on mine, she put ancient. <laughs> nice. And what did she put on mine, Steve? What she Annoying. Put on mine? I, I can't remember. I think it was Mr. Nice Guy? It was. It was, it was Mr. Mr. Nice, Mr. Guy. nice yeah. Guy. Such yeah. BS. Yes. Yes. All right, and, thank and, you, Steve. And, yes. and when I paid the bill, <laughs> when I paid the entire bill and you left did. the tip, she started to be nice to me and, and started to be mean to yeah. me. Yeah, so that's just true. Saying. So here's the only problem is he left the tip in coins, and it was a <laughs> dollar and 30 cents oh, so for a $50 check. <laughs> so is that old people? It's weird. Do that, do he just said, get all the nickel candies yeah. you want. All of them. Root beer barrels. Yeah. Welcome, Steve. What's his channel name? Um, Deals and Dives. Deals and Dives <laughs> is here. He doesn't post any content, but he has some content that he, he does. Get. Long time ago. Steve is the MVP of Kevin's life. Yes. Is what we've learned. He is the week. one, like, uh-huh. doing 90 to 95% he's a, he's of the work. what you call a hanger on her. Okay, let's start here. Steve is Kevin's uncle. Yes. And you've actually probably seen, like, pieces of Steve in Kevin's video, like the left ear. Yeah, he tries to crop him out. The The front front belly, whatever it is, right? Yes, absolutely. He tries to crop him out, but he loses. Yeah, sometimes he messes up. And and Steve even told me that he's not allowed to go in front of the camera. Oh, really? Yeah, he said Kevin yells at him if he does. (laughs) That's that's aggressive. It's aggressive. And mean. Yeah, it's really aggressive and mean. Mm. Uh, Steve, how much older, you don't need to say your age, but are you, like, 10 years older than Kevin, 20 well, Ke- Kevin is pretty old, so uh, nine months. Nine months. Nine months old. I mean, nine, nine years. <laughs> nine, nine years. years. Sorry. No, and, and remember, anytime we talk about Kevin's age, we're talking about his age after he sucked the life out of people and reduced <laughs> yes. his age from yes. one thirteen. Yes. Okay. Kids today, everybody today, they're used to change, and so therefore, change is the continuity. It's just here's the thing. It happens all and the time. You would under, you, you're right. And the here's cake the thing. Was you a would. Lie. You would. Yeah, it was a lie. That's true. You would understand this. Like back in the olden days, you know, you would write, you know, you'd get back from the hunt, Kevin, and then you'd write about your hunt on the wall. You'd do pictures. All that yeah, is that pictures. Yeah, pictograms the hunt? on the cave. Yeah, when you went out and got Oh, we're not talking about Kevin in a loincloth. No, 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 we're talking about Kevin in a loincloth. Somebody uh, yeah, photoshopped that mammoths, ASAP. The, the wall ASAP with just full yeah. body tats because <laughs> that's in a couple caves. months he'll have. No, but that's what TikTok is. It's just pictograms on a cave, but in 2023. It's just, that's the evolution of storytelling. Deep, Could we get an update stuff. on the Commonwealth Picker Tramp Stamp? Is yes. that still happening? What? You were going to get the lower back tattoo. No, I was not. That said, yeah, stickers are in anim- here with an arrow towards your butthole. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> I thought the anime was going to be minutes. pointing down there. Kevin's For gone Grandpa markedly Kevin. da- downhill since his birthday this week. He's now... A happy oh, octogenarian, yeah. an octogenarian, octogenarian, octogenarian. 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 <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. eighty-six. Eighty-six. <laughs> His sixth anniversary of the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a little sad being excluded today, but yeah. Yeah, it's here's up. the thing: it makes sense. Kevin deleted all his footage because he's nine hundred years old. He yeah. is what Methuselah is that his nickname? Yes, that is nine hundred and six. He's a little bit older than that gentleman. But yes. Yeah, and and basically he has no footage, and he's <laughs> Did like, you just Dave. say or sixty nine? What? Look at Kevin. Look at look at Kevin. I think it's yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've used forever? that exact same thumbnail. So did you get it from me? Did I oh. use the I'm done thumbnail? Well, since you're before. older than Methuselah, I haven't had time to go look through <laughs> all of your. Giant That's why his, the words on his years. his thumbnails take up the whole screen, and they're always behind me, and I can't read it because I don't. I can only see half the letters. <laughs> you got to click on it to see what the heck the word <laughs> is. Kevin's over like, here releasing videos from last August, so I don't even know what know. to do with him. No, 
I didn't release a video from last August. I l released a video from now that had content in it from last August. Just like say, okay, no matter what, we're going to come on at 9.30 Sunday night and we're going to record whatever's in our brain. And it, it works out. It works out. But I, I get it. It's also hard with uh, Kevin because it's past his bedtime. Mm -hmm. He has yeah. to go to the old folks' home and he's got to do true. all that stuff there. Speaking it's of true. that... Uh, you know, one of the big reasons to have Josh on is to prove to the whole community that Josh can get more views than Kevin, right, Josh? I'm I'm gonna try really hard. <laughs> uh, I, you know, about Kevin, it, it, I know it's a joke on this podcast about how old he is, mm -hmm, and it ancient. actually it affected me because I was beginning to think that Kevin was like 50. <laughs> but, then, but didn't he say yeah. in the last podcast he's like 36 or something? No, no, no. <laughs> no, Carrie, no. no. I so that. I'm 37, Carrie's 38, and then Kevin's 406. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. okay I, got well, I don't know. Kevin, Kevin's some Kevin a unknown lot. age. It was wearing me down. I was like, man, I guess Kevin really is old. <laughs> Maybe he's well, not put, that old. He's in between, he's in between 40s. 40 and 50, and he was born sometime in the 70s. That's the only hints we're allowed to give yeah. legally yeah. without okay. hearing okay. from his representation. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> at least that's what he tells people. Yeah, we think he's true. cutting off at least 10 years. <laughs> that's our thought. Dude, honestly, that's just an example of one of the problems, just constantly making fun of Kevin. He's a nice person, and we're just He's mean. been nothing but good to us, too. Yeah. He's and actually he's paid us... Yeah. Half the time. Yeah, half the th And, dude, he's not that old. Like, he's old. He's a lot older than us, but he's not, like... But it, objectively... We called him ancient. That's just yeah. mean-spirited. I said I said a lot of things about retirement homes I wish I could take yeah. back. Yeah, and there's there's been comments. There's been, there's been mean behavior disguised as comedy. This is a review on the iTunes. It says, after listening to this podcast for a few months, I'm officially out. At first, I found it entertaining. Oh, man. Now, after listening to them make fun of each other, make fun of the paid patrons who buy them dinner, and make fun of their guests they have on, I'm done. Right, like I think they have a point. I mean, I sometimes it's, you're not ready to hear things, and I feel be, like it's time. Yeah, like to listen. It's just supposed to be a reselling podcast. We're supposed to be teaching people how to become better sellers, and we yeah. sit there and make fun of Kevin. Like it's just not right. And honestly, if we were to quit, we would be helping him. He wouldn't have to subject himself to this. People would wouldn't have better. to suffer people, through listening to it, and people would have more time to list. Yeah, I mean, deal with Krylov. Yeah, and you, you've you been selling better, right? I, I've been doing so much better, man. I've been working so hard. I don't feel like people even see it. You got it. It's, it's all about carries and a buffoon. Yeah, and you got up, you got up at 10 this morning. I mean, you were up early. Oh, dude, there was sun out. Yeah. Well, here's some more clips. Let's see if this there makes us feel. There was sun out, and I thought I did good, man. You told me I had done good. I, I was proud of you, man. Thank you. Let's check this out. you got to call me like a half an hour before the show if you want to make sure I'm going to make it, because it was on at like 1 p.m., <laughs> Uh, Eastern time. So that's like so 10 a.m. over here. And I'm like, I don't that's, like yeah, I'm not very so coherent early. at 10 a.m. I've sent like Carrie it, like 30, 30 TikToks and Instagram reels saying if you live in the Pacific time zone, you can't sleep till 10 a.m. Because that's one yes, o'clock on the East Coast. I'm not, I'm not doing the whole business day. stuff, dude. <laughs> I'm not trying to I'm not trying to have a business meeting with Alex Hermosi or some dude eating raw fish. I'm just posting <laughs> stuff on the Internet and eBay. The bins wouldn't let him film. There's not that many garage sales. It's like, this is... yeah. So now he has to talk about being creative and making videos. Like, you know, this is how I do my flat leg, selling mostly clothes. And there's, you know, it's hard when you're niched right. down and you're not in a great sourcing. You can't put out sourcing content. It's hard. And Carrie, you struggle with that too. And they shut you down at the bins because yeah. now you got to wake right. up and go to yard sales. That was that that was terrible too because I was if, okay. So I think what he's saying is if you had Completely. to live in Vegas. Kevin, would you source differently than Carrie? Yeah, I would, yeah. And uh, would I, I would source be, differently than Kevin in Lynchburg? I mean, I'd still do garage sales, and I'd probably do garage sales in the bins. So but you'd, like, I'd wake do. up when they started instead of the oh, Carrie thing. I crushed yeah. it in Vegas. It was yeah. awesome. That was yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, you'd actually do it. I'm, I'm do still it. Here, I crushed it, ate I breakfast, and went home. Saying. And Carrie was, I think, still asleep. Yeah. Mm. At least she's just triggering me. But despite that, I still found good items today. Nice. I'm sure Carrie, it's not like that with you and Dawn. There's probably almost no talking because she knows not no. to talk to Carrie it's, before it's noon. Yeah, exactly. No, that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> it's just make sure Carrie has his clothes laid out because, like, I'm I'm a grumpy person in the morning, is what I'm trying yeah. to say. And she's. Been, can you tell me? Wait, can we dive into this uh, clothes laid out thing? Because you are 39. 39. Can you just tell me what does that even mean? clothes laid out like Don will Don you don't will know how to my get them out of the dryer out of the dryer because I'm so slow in the morning she'll always grab it or else it'll take me much longer to get ready so I have to <laughs> does she put them on I do you? that for Turner 
Does yeah, she put them basic, on you? It's just it's a treat. It's a part of being in a relationship. That's my treat. I I shower her with gifts and love and affection, and she'll just lay okay. out clothes for me because she loves me. That's part of she, a relationship. Lay, so you wake up, you wake up, and there's clothes laid out on the bed. Does it like? Does it have like a diagram of where each article goes? Like this she, is for she your She does legs. pick out my outfit. This was Don <laughs> picked this out for me today, and I think it looks nice. I Kevin, does Heather looks... do this for you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Did your mom an easy do it one. for you? Of course not. It's funny okay. though because I, morning... I started picking my own clothes right around. I was washing my clothes. Seven years old. I think at ten I was old. washing my clothes. And before I that, if I if I left my clothes inside out, my mom would charge me a quarter per item. But when they I go did that for myself for years. This is just a treat. Dude, that was this a is, lot of money in the forties. <laughs> You know what I mean? This is just one of my things. I don't know. Speaking of, if you're in the past, go check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're, if you're traveling back in time, so what's, come to the auction. So out. when will you be there on Tuesday? When will you be there? We'll leave in the morning. Probably like when? When can you wake up? I'll probably leave at eight. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's go for like eleven a.m. Back there, but anyway. So me and Carrie are going to go mm -hmm. yard sailing on Saturday, yes. and we're going to see if there's really any flipping to be done in so Los Angeles County. Yeah, I'm a little so concerned about I'm going to wake up it. at the crack at mm. ten or eleven. AM. Yep. Yep. We're gonna <laughs> well, go see hey, what's if available. there's anywhere to do that, Southern California would be the place, true. right? That's out true. here, try yard sales start. It. It's, I mean, it's dark. It's dark, and we're out there yard selling right now. We're featured in tomorrow's flipper video, there which I totally slacked off and only did two <clears throat> last week. Wait, did you? How move? did you do? Uh, how did I do? What do you mean? On flipper videos. Oh, I did three. Did you do three? I did three every I, week. I failed. Carrie, did you do every Dude, single day? I did seven day? days every day. Every, every day. I didn't day. make a trip to California, so I'm good. That yeah, gave me. That ended up giving me a lot of days off, actually, because I could. Edit. I still have more stuff yeah. I can edit from that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what happens when you wake up early and get out and go work. Here's the thing about. He always work, says though. it's because of me. Oh, whenever I'm with Dave, I get tons of videos. No, it's because I make you do work. <laughs> exactly it's nothing right. to do with me. Like just yeah, do work on your own, and you'll get tons of videos. How do I get this rap of being lazy? I'm doing a rap. video every By day. By being lazy. It's true. <laughs> if you're doing a video every day. You guys are they? Are we doing a? premiere for real on this thing yeah why not are we gonna People enjoy gonna, that because carrie won't wake up so is it gonna be 1 30 like think, our 10 o'clock like, time is listen, done i think so i think we're a 1 30 show now Gosh, i got so much work done on tuesday mornings mm. the video today i've got to edit it it'll be out tomorrow but i've been like doing one video a week which is not one ideal. a week yeah. that's not good that's not good. No. no that's pathetic actually well i mean i've been two doing videos a week is where well. you should be carrie's finally having too. success doing something well you know making mm -hmm. a little bit of money yeah. and he decides to he just abandons it, it. <laughs> self self sabotage <laughs> yeah no i oh i'm gosh. aware of that um yeah, i just i haven't okay. had garage sales lately that have been any good and you know i don't know i just haven't had much that, stuff that's the intro hold on let's let's dig into that comment you just made i think you it's make important garage to dig. no don't no good. don't dig no into it. i think you know, it's I know important to dig going, into that and comment i don't like because what you're doing here you haven't had just like you needed to go to the bins today he so you wouldn't have to wake up, up and do the podcast right you right. haven't had a lot of good garage sales so what time did you get up saturday <laughs> no, to go to garage like, sales? see this is this is irrelevant <laughs> just, they should they should be available when i get to them so disappointed Here's are you gonna thing. be awake when we go out there in april i'm not that bad you guys are making me what time did you I... go out to garage sales on saturday because i want to uh, know i didn't really even go this weekend mm -hmm. what about the week before because there wasn't that many how about the uh, week I was before way late saying... it was like 10 30. yeah probably. the week before you were in rose bowl aren't you oh yeah the week before true. so i'm talking None, the week before yeah. that um so three but weeks ago when you actually tried here's to here's the major issue if you guys want to get down <laughs> to it beyond that <laughs> I'm probably going to go to California in a week or so and film another Ben's one inside mm -hmm. and maybe do. Well, World get up and go to a garage sale. Go I'm going art. to this weekend. I, I will that's say, my goal. Dave, that in one at 127, Kerry was always up and ready he to got go. Up. Yeah, he got yeah. up. It's, yeah. But it's like you need you need Dawn to be as obnoxious <laughs> as me. Yeah, I, I like that's the problem. She's too nice to you. She's I work enabling well with you. structure. I work well yeah. with structure. And mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to Dawn about it because I think she's enabling your lackadaisical lifestyle. Right? I think if I, she was to go spank your butt at 7 a.m. and say, get out or I'm going to hmm. keep spanking. And then you get Ooh, up and you go to yard stay. sales and you'll thank her for it. And you'll have a little <laughs> plump little red butt there, but it'll be worth it. It'll be I worth it. Like, I feel like this is an intervention. It's kind of an intervention, yeah, but we did is. Kevin earlier. Mom next. I mean, so we're just we, going to kind of go through the group. We both put all of our YouTube collateral on the line for the growth of American Arbitrage. Mm -hmm, and now you're betraying it for... <laughs> Hey, but my card, card video channel. is blowing up. It blowing is. Up. I've never. <laughs>
sunny. Well, you know, the third time I made you breakfast and it got cold because you wouldn't wake up, I was done. (laughs) Blake, can you go to some garage sales so you can answer these questions? Because these are a lot of garage sales questions. I've been to garage sales before, okay? I'm not like Do you hate garage sales? Do you hate garage sellers? Like, why why do you discriminate against garage sales? Okay, so Carrie, you can relate to this. I hate getting up early. Oh, you're one of those guys. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and like, okay, I get up before Blake, you. I I, I know that Carrie gets out of bed at like <laughs> 2 11 p.m. Probably at the earliest. I get I, like 9 a.m. is like my wake up time, like a normal wake up time for a human being, because no. the sun between doesn't five rise. and six is the correct time to wake up. Where mm-hmm. are you from? Where am I from? Connecticut. Yeah, are you Are you farming? What, yeah, what's I the, am what's farming. Your, what, what's I actually had we had a mini farm. Okay, so yes, we had a farm when I grew up, a little farm in our backyard. I'd have to wake up, I'd have to feed the chickens, I'd have to let out the goats, and I would have to feed the ducks every morning before the sun sun. Are you a time traveler? Yeah, that was cool. Did you go garage sailing (laughs) today? It's Saturday. Remember that? Did you wake up? Yeah, no, I didn't. I went to the Uh, card show, dude. I got a pile of cards over here. I went. It was a card show day. Got a bunch of stuff. This is turning into another episode. Two dollars. He sits there and does nothing. No, here's the thing. Wake up, here. No, no. The whole time, you guys, I was letting you guys do your actual reselling. (laughs) The whole time, I was noticing this between us. This has nothing to do with what you were talking about because I was thoroughly zoned out. Me and you, Kevin. (laughs) Me and you dress exactly how we dressed when we were eight years old. Yes. You notice that? Mm-hmm. You have your baseball yeah, totally. hat on after the game. Mm-hmm. You have your rot- macho That's man, right. Randy Savage. I got my hockey jersey yeah, and my baseball Ooh, hat yeah. on. Dave looks semi-professional, <laughs> which I'll give him credit. Dave does. Dave, You're please. gonna let me die? You're one of your dear friends, really? <laughs> well, in any, any scary movie or zombie movie, the person to make love first dies, so it'd probably be Kevin who died first. Because oh, he's out yes. there Kevin. making love. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. You never get a call into him. He's always busy. Um, well, you always have that. You always have that one person that wakes up in like the hospital or something, and is like, "What happened?" Yeah. Yep. That would be Carrie's days later he style. Sleeps in. Yeah. That's true. I would sleep through it. Be totally fine. The apocalypse. <laughs> you just wake up and be like, "What? What's going on?" Where no, but everybody? the problem is, Chris. He would wake up a zombie. He would literally just never even realize it happened. He'd be like, "Oh crap! I'm a zombie now." I would take my chances with somebody like Chris that actually knows who Waylon Jennings is. I wouldn't. I would Dude. not survive with somebody who. But I have that. a really big case knife that I can fight off a zombie. True. That is so true. Point. There's that. Yeah. So point. I have I've almost got all so my money back for all of them. Way better than the rally roots do. Yes, definitely. Because I, I think I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably earn like eight hundred bucks off it at least. You know, in profit. So, anyways. Oh, in profit. That's not in bad profit. At all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it'll be good. Sorry, Carrie. Wake up. Wake up, Carrie. No, I mean, it's just that was really boring. I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to go jump off this desk. It won't hurt that bad. It's only about three (laughs) feet up, so I should be okay. If you watch me and Carrie's collab videos where we're in Vegas, it's literally like a Trash to Cash episode at a yard sale. It really is. Just try it. Just try mine. With Paul. Paul's got a great sense of humor, man. I had so yeah. many comments like, you and Paul need to do a comedy show, not exactly. a garage sale channel, because you know, yeah. it's pretty good, you know? Yep. He ripped on me for being, you know, young and attractive, and I, licked, you know, ripped on him for being huge. I think you were going to say you, you were said lick. You did you say lick. Up, Paul. <laughs> Which is, it's all good, man. <laughs> He's got a lot of bald area on his head for, to be licked. Like just licking Paul's face. <laughs> yeah. I want to go pick them with y'all. I want to. I want to spend, uh, you know, five or six sales with you, and then I want to go do my own thing. And then I, <laughs> I want to never see you again. <laughs> come back and no, but see, in all honesty, what we should do is well, Carrie won't wake up till the sales are over anyway, it's Dave. True. So we don't have a problem, especially on East Coast time. <laughs> so we should go out together. Let me tell you my TikTok idea, and I stole this from somebody else, but it's not been done in the reseller format. Let me know okay. what you guys think of this. I walk up to random people in the street. I have the strip right here, Las Vegas, perfect place for it. I walk up to people on the strip when they're trying to have a good time, right? They're all a little bit zozzled and they're just walking down the street. And I just go up with a random piece of garbage I found at the thrift store and I ask them how much it's worth. And that's the whole, and I'll, I'll riff with them. I'll make some jokes that's and good. then that's my like whole TikTok. It. What if you run into Bob Barker by accident? 
We'll see what like he's going to get it right him. every time. If you yeah. Yeah. Barbara, <laughs> I mean, uh, exactly. I'd be like, <laughs> I'm like, I got, I got some questions. Some, <laughs> I have a little bit of existential threat I'd like to deal with right now. <laughs> Don't oh, forget to stay new to your pet. Dude. I like that the idea. True. I like the idea. That is true. Good. But why do you, so, why do you need to find it at a thrift store? You could just literally grab something out of your house. You don't have to wake up early to find something in a thrift store. Yeah. Carrie, you never told us what you would wish for if you had a reseller genie. Oh, uh, so, uh, gosh. <laughs> Motivation? <laughs> it's called dumb. It's Motivation? Be, the ability would, to wake up early? I would like garage sales to start about 1 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I would love that. I would, I'd be so in the zone. Sean would already have been up for like eight hours. but <laughs> I be like tired out. She would be tired out. She'd hate it. it. But I'd yeah. be like, have so much energy. I'd be doing ninja moves and stuff. It'd be awesome. <laughs> so, Carrie, if you had to choose, I think I know the answer. Uh, thrift stores, garage sales. Rest oh, garage life. sales every day of the week. I Every single day of the week and twice on Friday. I would never go to a thrift store again. Okay, yeah. that surprises wow. me a little bit because of your content. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I, I go. Garage because... sales are early in the day, Kev. They're early in the day and he's sleeping. <laughs> They so have he does the thrift store. Garage sales. They have yet to adjust oh, to my schedule, oh, which I'm he very does, upset about. I understand. Garage sales are better. Okay, I got you there. They're know. better, but he can't wake up for them. <laughs> <laughs> They're better if lately. they were in the He's evening. Been sending messages out. It's like 11 no, and I'm getting messages. Here, at, uh, here, in, here in Vegas on Friday at Broad, a Broad Acres Flea Market, they start at like 7 p.m. It's like my jam. I was out uh, picking a couple weeks ago at like 7 p.m. right when they opened. I'm like, this is... This is where I'm supposed to be. This, this is, where, is my home. This, this is who I am. <laughs> this is my this is my people because we're all out when picking they at start? Like, like six or seven p.m. It's or four or five. I don't know. I don't get so there on time. You didn't go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I just stayed up. I just stayed yeah. up all night. Yeah. No, well, no but, he's um, saying p.m. Kevin, not a.m. I will say this. I went to really? Saver. Did I miss that? Yeah, seven p.m. Yeah, the 7 flea market's at seven p.m. I think it's actually night. like four or five to. PM 7 PM means night, Kevin. PM yeah. is night. He's getting old. He forgets these things. AM is morning. Yeah. PM is evening. I know exactly. it's tough. It's tough. Exactly. Okay, so all that told me is that we're mean to you too. And we're constant are you okay? I just I didn't realize we were doing that to you. I but feel like I've internalized it a lot and it's kind of changed who I am and how I behave and it's but it's been like getting that, to me. that ties into the bad at reselling. Like we're not good at reselling. You not waking I've, up on time. Me just making I cooking videos. Like the, we're not good at resellers. The general concept. Yeah. Like if if you put like a just a big list together of who deserves to have a reselling podcast, we yeah, would not we, even chart. Yeah. You know, maybe people like Daily maybe, Refinement. Like maybe in Uruguay or something. Rockstar Flipper. Like those people deserve to run a yeah, podcast. I mean, I'd watch that. Rockstar, Daily Refinement, and. Mike, uh, maybe Mike could do one. Mike Reezy. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, I don't know. There's just, we're undeserving, and this is showing me that we never deserved it to begin with. Yeah. Ever. I don't know, man. I mean, there's another set of clips. I actually didn't pull these. I ones. feel like Elijah found them for me. I feel like me. we've kind of sullied. Kevin's reputation a little bit too. a couple times yeah with the whole the swing swinging stuff like that I wasn't, to be completely honest don't even know what that is I don't I thought it was like a swing set thing but then people started sending me pineapple emojis and all this other yeah, got, stuff and I don't know it's I got just, some explicit or implicit and he's upset pictures. about like Heather called me once and said that he was like visibly upset about an, an episode we yeah did. I've I don't like seeing I, I don't like seeing grown men cry yeah and I've seen it too many times but some of these text messages he sends me like really make me wonder yeah they're aggressively getting, yeah. like yeah. overtly yeah there's innuendo -y, i know like yeah I, are we uncovering the real kevin and should we be showing that to people should we let them see like believe mm, believe in know. the wholesomeness <sighs> I I like we're let's it. see I, let's I pull like up some clips it, and see what we can find uh, so I had I was in the YouTube and I've got like vidIQ and it does these like recommendations for AI titles for your e episodes and the last okay. episode's AI recommendations Carrie were very solid so the top <laughs> right. recommendation that it had but it was like uh, reselling 101 swinging and partying in Vegas with the Commonwealth yep. picker or something like that. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. 
This scares me way more than the people answer. are going to people are going to be coming up I to you and mentioning this. it. They're just, going to be making just, offers. I think this is uh, not a good. Not we're a just, good dreams we're, are coming true. We're okay. just so. we're just opening up commerce here, whatever they call yeah. it in the swing we're, community. <laughs> mm. Well, the, Dave is not super happy with the venue. Yeah. Well, the one that we kind of have lined up. Let's just say. It's, don't bring a black light. No don't bring no... a black light to the event. Is all we're saying. I feel like it'll be a laughing stock. Anyways, <sighs> their votes are in. Okay, <clears throat> we have the Patreons have voted. Kevin, what do you think okay. was first place? What do you think they did? I'll just tell you right most? now, my wife will not be happy unless she gets the purple zebra room. I'm just telling okay, you, that's the private house. Okay, well, that's like her whole swinging thing. That's like a separate topic. <laughs> <laughs> that is a separate <laughs> Commonwealth channel. Oh my goodness, that ain't happening. <laughs> no. We haven't come up with a new name for the shed yet, so can we just call it the the, the swinger shed? Swing and shed. Call it the yeah, swing and shed. I like that. Thing one, thing two. Just get a shed one, shed two. Yeah, yeah homie, don't play that. That's so true. Kevin, you what do you want to say that. about my wife and so swinging before you, you send left? me a me Dave sends me a message today. He's like, dude, you're in my video in the first minute. You need to watch it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the minute mark. So I'm so like boring. six minutes in, and I'm like. Yeah what are you talking about and he's like oh i'm sorry i must have made a mistake <laughs> we hang out with and go to these concerts with she posted a little video and had my wife in it and it got like like 12 million views I'm getting viewers sending this to me because she's doing some inappropriate things shocking right really shocking with the pictures like, you're sending yes they're I mean, like, swinging, not highly but... inappropriate. No, oh, yeah, there is like a thousand percent chance <laughs> of swinging so going on. Right now. <laughs> what? Twice I've done now, hot sellers on eBay, and I put my wife in the thumbnail. Mm. I've done it twice, and both You want some real controversy, well. put someone else's wife in the thumbnail. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> Might as well try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it won't cause any marital issues. Yeah, no, you know, you're yeah, already so swinging. Well. You might as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll tell you this. Uh, January 18th, Thursday, maybe something, right? That yeah. night, maybe like a mixer. Friday, you know, people could do yard sales. When is Kevin going to arrive? Because like he's that. probably going to be in some sort of swinging activity in, yes, until the last yeah. possible moment. Yeah, well, he'll have, he'll still be down here from spring break. Oh, so yeah, he he's will. Be for he'll the be doing year. the post Daytona yeah. swinging. Yeah. With me, as always, is Carrie, just Carrie today, and Kevin, the just common Carrie. wealthy, Keeping wealthy, real. wealthy swinging dick. Get the realness today. How's it going, guys? Kevin, yes. I gotta tell you something. I got to you. meet his swinging friends. It was nice. Oh, oh that's gosh. good. Were they nice? <laughs> Yeah, they're oh, nice people. Oh, I mean, do I have this open? You can cell? swing and be nice. It's not; they're not mutually exclusive. Which it was okay. ridiculously expensive that week. Just crazy. I mean, I'm she like, must this have been is a convention nuts. in town. Number one, yeah, <laughs> number one swinging hotel in you Vegas. Got, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could have got. You could have used yeah, that. Yeah. It's not even subliminal. We're just driving <laughs> it in. Allegedly. They could have. They we could have got one down in <laughs> Fremont, Golden Nugget, or something like that. Terry so, told me he was he was inspired by this trip to start producing more content and really? selling more For and really? he's inspired really so that'll cheesy. last what week. inspired you to make more content just seeing what a machine just you know what a thoughtless machine kevin is when it comes to content <laughs> yeah. just produce produce doesn't matter yeah. what it is just yeah. produce it uh -huh. Sounds fair. i love it, it even for his me. new channel even for his new swinging channel yeah oh. i know the commonwealth <laughs> commonwealth swinger <laughs> commonwealth swings yeah it's not about it's not about like a swing set it's not about baseball, be although he's we got a baseball know. bat in the logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh Hitting a pineapple. What, Kevin? I would rather talk about swinging than this. Okay, okay. well, that's because you're a scaredy cat. YouTube. You don't Kevin need to don't be know this from the swinging seller. community. You want to be perceived as bigger than you actually are. <laughs> oh, well, I just see were... multiple ways. Height and well, let me tell length. you. I would just say this because I will agree with something. Uh, okay. I'm not a bad looking old man. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you're that's you're pretty not bad. Hard, oldie. You'll still I'm be carrying... swinging at that point. <laughs> from the looks yeah, of it. It just won't be hard evidence anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, said by Lord he looks Kevin. like a sweet old man. I like that. Look, yeah. Wholesome yeah. Kevin like, right there. Yeah, I like that one. I like the one with the... Yeah, you look cute. Bolo. Just the, cute. one of the few yeah. moments where, you know, reselling or swinging isn't on his mind. Just a wholesome... So that's a lot of stuff, ladies right? in that room. Just a that lot is of true. Stuff. That is true. A lot of stuff... Having a private mini golf session and then the possibility... And a lunch of and... Time with Kevin. Bins. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, and the swinging with Kevin. There's a lot yeah. going on there, so... I think it'll be fun. Hopefully people can swing it because Kevin <laughs> wants to swing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> would he's a like nice guy. Person. He's a nice guy. And he's way better looking than all of us. Oh, yeah. 
My wife. Yeah, it's, well, it's uncomfortable being by chance. Your wife told I just you feel that. Uh, new swinger <laughs> candidate. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh, <laughs> Do you, is that what you do, Kevin? You guys just you and your wife have a rating like <laughs> yeah. after each event. This is ridiculous. Do you know how many how comments many I get about this? Do you know how many it's comments? So awesome. how, many? how many? No, how many? it's not awesome. I love, how many I comments, love when we're at events and they, you get told that you're old and then they ask you about swinging. <laughs> they don't ask you. They don't ask you anything about reselling anymore. What's funny is some people. Drifted Spirit was asking for is how do you stay positive? You can give that advice. How do you stay positive yep. in a rough week? You use cocaine, but there's other other methods as well. <laughs> swinging. I, I honestly, yes, yeah, swinging. You got to get out some of that excess energy. Uh, we don't plan on having a huge event. It's going to be pretty intimate. It's basically going to be, you know, like Kevin, you know, mm. whether yeah. or not you yeah. and Kevin have. Yeah, yeah that, anyways, is, that is innuendo. something you guys will have to yeah, yeah. discuss with Kevin personally. <laughs> but but like, in no general, guarantees. no guarantees. No guarantees he even does any of that. But we would like you yeah. to think so. Regardless. We're highly <laughs> suspicious. There's a lot of. Yeah, there's a lot of evidence. Um, yes. So but if but I no, come to Florida today, I'm coming alone. Just uh, saying. Yeah, just let's leave that one. Let's, let that one. Let that one sit. Just let that one sit. Uh huh. Just put a big hand that's his, right on the screen. That's at the this only. Point. That's the only kind of swinging I do. Just alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, we want you guys to come. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna get to meet other resellers. You'll get to make some relationships with resellers. Not that kind of relationship, Kevin. Easy boy. And uh, you'll, <laughs> you'll get to go boy. sourcing. You gotta, gotta stop I'm chewing on that it's zen. That. It's making I've you too wild. Up arguing the the rich as Kevin tiered. I've given up all of. I feel like there's someday i'm gonna give up arguing that i'm not a swinger i'm just gonna accept you're just it. gonna give in to I'm the fact that we like... we called you out on something that's oh been obvious gosh. to the community for years <laughs> everybody who's watched a commonwealth picker video when you're out there at the at the uh garage sales and the flea markets wherever you are yeah. there is an overt sexuality that we can all I see i wouldn't hate it if someone with too much time literally got the channel commonwealth swinger and just like made Photoshop and videos of Kevin on a swing. <laughs> like, and that's just all. Like, it's just swinging content. It's just like when I started sets. doing um, like um, like flip talk and stuff on TikTok. It was all just people doing backflips. It wasn't about yeah. flipping items. No, so just yeah, make exactly. it a swing set kind of vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, look at <laughs> Kevin. I think it's yeah. Okay. Seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of swinging while he was here. Too. I know, man. It's a swingcation. No. So said, let me throw it into chat GPT, Kevin, because it sounds pretty like, eh, you know, uh, formal. Right? I wrote yeah. way more than that. Just and so I, he, oh, he wrote like three paragraphs. And so I throw it into chat GPT and I said, hey, make this sound less formal. And, <laughs> and I responded today. I said, you're out of your mind. You think I'm going to post that? Said, that is not it. true. He responded and said, how come there isn't anything about swinging in there? Literally. I can show <laughs> literally. you the like, yeah. That is literally. I, what I, I did I two that. of the three paragraphs <laughs> were about swinging. <laughs> no, Kevin, can you explain that? Because that's like, I'm not even kidding, guys. That, literally, the response was, put some stuff about swinging in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a screenshot, Carrie. Yeah. Kevin, Mom. Kevin's Kev. This is this is in the swinging community. This is called a neg. He's negging you. I'm oh. going to go ahead and ask you politely uh, to ask your mother to join because we'd love to have her. Kevin's playing hard to get. That's part of the game. <laughs> they want less dibbed it more. They want more Kevin swinging chat. Returns, yeah. You'll see swinging sauced up Kevin. Kevin's gonna be no, lit up. God. He's gonna be drunk. Yeah. As I've a got. Did you see the, the person time. the other day in the thing? They asked me. And yes, the, I almost so dibbed good. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the. Are you really? Are you really? Like, a <laughs> Lord, no. I love it. I love it. It's such a such a such a joy that you get annoyed by that stuff. The, Again. This is what they call in the swinger <laughs> community negging. He is and negging. Other people Paige who right are now. amazing with one feet. Are you trying one to swing? With, is go. that what's happening here? Is this a swinging thing? <laughs> I, I, I think he's thing and so thriving. Click the link down below for account. Hubby just signed up to the Orlando Bash, so we're excited. Well, this yep. will be our awesome. first reseller event. There you go. So yeah, and definitely our third grab them swinging soon, events. There oh, we go. Boy. There we go. Look at that, man. I uh, think he sees an opportunity. Mama picker. He's now that it's out in the open, Mama he can just be open about it. Then I go to storyboard for the flipper video, which you guys laugh at. Oh my gosh! You're so Dude, shut up! It's when, what I when do. Is the, when is what the, I do. Let's pretend that's calendar. something interesting. When's the light the swinging? When something? is the light swinging? When do you that we're not going to talk about that. It's too many hours. <laughs> I right, see so storyboard, which yeah. just well, on. and, and that I know. Could it. you tell me which American reject song would define Kevin the most? A swing, swing, Dude. swing. 
Yes. Yeah, what happened right. to That's talking right. about eBay sales? Swing, swing, swing. This you is... were talking about swing, eBay sales. Swing, swing. I'm sorry, dude. Your swinging is a little distracting. <laughs> My wife yeah. watched the show last week, and she Why? was... I don't know. I think she sensed that she was being called a swinger and didn't like it. And, <laughs> and she was right. She was right. There was there was and, a lot of that whole episode there's implications. was swing talk there's, there's and a lot of a lot of allegedly is going oh, on. Oh, and Kevin also has several swinging games that he uses the Yahtzee dice for. Yep. So that's dice is a big part Dude, of his personality. Our friends sure. are Kevin, someone now. sent our, me a reel our, of you at a party. Oh yeah, of you dude. at a party. Like literally, someone sent me an Instagram reel of Kevin at a party, like playing some really weird game. Yeah. I think it was Atomic Reseller, or uh, what's his name? What was his old oh, name? Dude, Resell they to follow, Rome. They do. They dude, follow he sent that me account. like a video of you at a swinging party, yeah. like thrusting and party. catching something. Yeah, I don't know what you were at, doing. Listen, you were just sitting. There. Yeah, that was that was I weird. I should share that. Yeah, he was they, passing they that along to everyone. Pong game. They had just like a ping pong ball tied onto a string and then uh, a plastic <laughs> cup around your waist. Uh -huh. And you had to get the ping pong ball into the cup. It's just Kevin. Kevin was, the the only Kevin was so it. competitive about it, too. You could tell. like He oh, has very I'm, good I'm hip very thrust good. control. Yeah, he did have the like hip next thrust level. power. He did. <laughs> no, I didn't do it this way. That's the way everybody else did it. I did it this way. Yeah, so and he knows it. how to. Gosh, I it's all it. about the motion, yeah, not so much swing. the inertia. I'll post. Oh! <laughs> you didn't see it. You didn't see it. You used your hands. You don't know what you're talking about. You can use your hands. You cannot use your hands. Kevin got the right idea. I'm done. Let's go play, man. say like for me a lot of comments about people liking kevin in the middle and i didn't know if yep. it was for the show or a swinging reference but i figured yeah. we'll just keep him in the middle and keep, uh, kevin, middle. keep kevin mail. and everybody around him happy kevin got some swing mail swing mail like like Dude, adult they, they... books and they said oh, wow. like i know you're into swinging they're adult books, and they said, we look forward to seeing you at the Trash to Cash Bash. Oh, wow. So, like, oh, wow. it might have been, like, an indecent proposal situation. I'm not yeah. really sure what's I going on. I feel like it's people <laughs> feeling out to see how serious Kev is in the in the swing yeah, immunity, yeah, the swing that. community. Yeah. Read it, Kevin. Read it. <laughs> going to read it? The wife, the, hi, Kevin. The wife and I follow your channel and appreciate all, your, all the information you supply. I understand you and your wife are into swinging. We thought you... <laughs> You, you would appreciate some nighttime reading. A couple of uh, Love of the Manor, yeah. Barbara Barron, uh -huh. and Bethany Amber's Peachum Place. Oh, oh. Considerate and thoughtful. That's, gift. Thank you. That is yeah, that's <laughs> definitely a part of the swinger canon, so to speak. So you should yeah. get educated on that. We will be coming to the Reseller Rally in Florida. We can't wait to meet What's you your both. Oh. Number? P. S. oh. <laughs> should we let them know? I don't know. Should we let them that. know it's now? Like, they're going to be disappointed, though. They're going to be. You're going to be disappointed if you, know, you come. Kevin's no going to be. Dave's going to be in his room the whole time, staying away from people. Kevin's going to be too friendly, as you know. I'll yeah. be nice. I'll hang out with you, you know, guys. They'll though. have a great time meeting Tina, Heather, and Don, though. That is. <laughs> that, <laughs> they they are the real MVPs the real stars of the for show. sure. But there's no there's no like LOLs, no funny stuff, no nothing. It's <laughs> Not like, is it. this for real? You too. <laughs> It's YouTube. Yeah, hey, just got hey, the world. Uh, nothing, swag. gosh, nothing brings me more joy than that if it's mm. kind of real because it's funny. It's, and then it's you seeping. You don't have to tell things. us what happens. We're not gonna. We're not gonna pry. Okay, so like, it's just more. It's just more evidence of the kind of stuff I we have, do. On I don't this think show. I've seen anything reselling related. No, like there's these light mentions of reselling, like peppered throughout. But that's not a reselling podcast. It's more like just three guys who think they're funny. I feel and like this is like an excuse yeah. for us to try like a comedy podcast when mm. reselling is the only thing we know. I just watched. And I don't even know it that well. All those clips, I did not laugh one time. I was ashamed. I just felt I, shame and depression. Like it, I felt like a sunkenness, like mm -hmm. just like I was going to the sunken place. A weight. A weight, a weight like yeah. a heaviness. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 
You know, there's a there's a couple more. Cl- I don't even know if we need to watch I'm them. I'm kind of done with it, man, dude. I think we just focus well, on the movie like, podcast or something. Uh, that's a great podcast. I, I'm just hoping like that this. I, I keep holding out hope. Like maybe this next set of clips is gonna be like. I, I feel like clean, there's something good. Yeah. In this or inside of us. Yeah, like some sort of clean entertainment. Like nothing. Something you could show or anything like, like grandma. That. Yeah, grandpa. something you could sit down with my mom, Mama Picker, and watch and not yeah. be embarrassed. And so I'm hoping. That this section will not be embarrassing. I hope so. I, 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 yeah. Okay. Dare, no. Okay. No. I've got one. I've got one. Have time. you ever eaten sugar-free Haribo gummy bears? No. Okay. Do you know what they do to you? They do to you. <laughs> Probably the same thing an enema man does. Have you ever read the reviews about sugar-free Haribo gummy bears on uh, Amazon? No. When do you, you have time to be this? reading reviews? <laughs> Seriously, on this, Dave? Jay. What in the world? <laughs> I mean, jeez. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, so many of our comments or so many of our viewers are now like but uh Carrie, can you read that? I don't know. Do you have the eyes for uh, that? S- yeah, yeah. See you in hell, Haribo sugar free gummy bears. <laughs> it was the last class. Do you want me to read this whole thing? No, no, but That's just like lot. give us a little taste. It was a, it was my last class of the semester and the final exam was worth thirty percent of our grade. So there's some stakes. It's a good story. Yeah, there's, yeah, stakes. there's stakes. <laughs> After a late night study session, I felt confident, but I had to decide between sleeping in or cooking breakfast. I always decide to eat and stay up. My yeah. eyelids chose sleep. My stomach later regretted mm. this decision and several uncomfortable stomach <laughs> growls. I finally decided to make a quick stop by the campus bookstore and grab a snack before my test. Since mm. the semester was ending and everyone was going home for the summer, a lot of them were on <laughs> sale, we including doing? the snacks and candies that they kept on up front. Being in a hungry state I was in, I felt only logical to pick the largest yet least expensive candy in order to get my bang for a buck. It sounds like a college student. And yeah. there they sat. Two two bags. They did two of them. Oh, man. Yeah. Haribo sugar-free get one free. gummy bears. Buy one, get one free. What a deal indeed. I thought naively I would eat one bag before my test and one bag afterwards. Um <laughs> Probably on the toilet, I would assume, for the second one. As I walked to class, I gleefully chewed on those abominable little bastards, unaware of the utter mayhem that they would soon unleash upon my poor, poor Anus? Anus? Anus, Anus, yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I I sat at my desk as the professor informed us, due to issues with cheating in the past, restroom breaks would be prohibited until the completion of the exam. Uh, 10 minutes to use the restroom now. Mm. This will be your last chance. Any takers? Mm. The demon bears hadn't released their unholy necromancy <laughs> upon my stomach yet. <laughs> so in my moment of ignorant foolishness, I remained seated, still munching on those miniature bear-shaped bombs. Mm. After the student, wise enough to take the professor's offer, had returned, the professor handed out the test. I was six questions in and it, when it happened. It started settling for <laughs> Almost like a slight tingy sensation in my lower abdomen. What is it? I thought nothing of it is too. All right, that's a taste. That's a taste. That's a taste. You should check out the reviews, guys. They're all that good. They're Pretty all that good. Sure. Showing us. Oh, it was showing diarrhea. Us stand. I thought. I want to tell you this because last night, yeah. yesterday, uh, you know, I'm on keto now. I'm on keto. And so I bought these yeah. keto things from Costco. They're like these keto chocolate peanut butter like snacks. They're supposed to be like a meal replacement. But, you know, me and sweets, right? It's not a good plan because yeah. I have one. I'm like, oh, this is delicious. I'm going to have another one. Now, the key ingredient in the Haribo sugar-free gummy bears that makes them death to your stomach is sugar alcohol. Okay. Yeah. That's like a, the big problem with them. I did not read the ingredients of these keto bars. Last night, right before the podcast... <laughs> This started happening to me because I had two of these keto bars and at like 9 p.m. I'm sitting here and literally the war cry, like everything (laughs) is happening to me. And it was like a nightmare. It was a race against time. I ran into my bathroom. I mean, listen, I'm not going to be like grotesque and graphic, but I literally painted off the seat. I painted the underside of the toilet seat (laughs) with the force that was expelled from my anus and avocado (laughs) green. And I'm sitting there. I'm like. I have to record with Reezy and Kevin and Carrie. And like, uh-huh. I kept coming back Here's- to sit and I have to like, I'd, I'd sit here and two minutes later, I'd run out again, come back the two best minutes part- later, like 30 minutes of nonstop. Uh, and I lost some weight, by the way. Come to ahead, come Gary. to find out, you didn't even have to be here. You could have just stayed on the yeah. Toilet. I could have just stayed on the, the toilet and just been on my phone listening in, and it would have been fine. But yeah. uh, usually, 
the first thing I do before I do anything in the morning is I list one thing at least. No, and sometimes it's three or four. No, no, it's not. You don't poop no, for don't. your date, your afternoon pooper? <laughs> oh Let's start there. I try to poop. I'm, if, I have to sit on, if I have to sit on the toilet for an hour and a half, I'm pooping to start my day. Yeah. If, if it's yeah. not coming, Fair. I wait. Yep. Please, know, Kevin, guys. come back. <laughs> Kevin, come back. He's still there. How Maybe do we retire? He might be pooping again. Oh, he's there's, a, there's a strong he a chance. <laughs> he does so much he, he, does, he is the enemy man, so he is regular. Yo, and, and Guess which one I'm pooping show, in. Guess which one. Uh, the but one right behind you. Exactly. Right behind. It's this one. <laughs> I'm like, you know so what I'm doing. We, <laughs> Your latest thumbnail, Kevin. What mm -hmm. a what a piece of just garbage art it is. Oh, my gosh. It's you. You have the hair because you're trying to get to the ladies or whatever. Uh, and then in the corner, it just says liar. We all know you're talking about <laughs> yourself, but you want us to figure out, like, you're just going to do a whole, like, who's a liar in the community? Then you're going to make us guess. Your your children are going to come out and, like, talk about a mystery person. We well, all I know it's you. I want to talk about that video. Dude, you're getting hey. a lot of views on these videos, yeah. and I hate these thumbnails. <laughs> Man. Oh, they're terrible. <laughs> I really they're don't such... like them. It's but they're like, doing great. Gosh, you would just it's think weird. somebody who's an educator would educate. <laughs> it's like in this face, like mean? you're literally in the video from three days ago. You're definitely farting or pooping. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Like, look at yeah, his facial no, expression with a the blue fun, shirt on. That's a fun Commonwealth picker game to watch or flipper game. <laughs> like, try to find the time in the video where he cut and had to go pee, and then he's back. Because you could the tell, like about eight minutes in, you could tell uh, he's talking, but he's really thinking about peeing. <laughs> and then you'll see a hard cut, and he's back, and he's full of life uh, again. It's with the man. door open. Not hiding. In That's public. not true. Actually, me and Tina have a strict no poop viewing policy in this household. <laughs> uh, there is no... Oh. Uh, dude, there's people who, like, they'll walk in while their significant <laughs> yeah. other is taking a dump. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't happen in this yeah. household. No, no that's... Okay. That... Carrie, what, are you a, are you an open-door we, pooper? Yeah, well, I'm unlocked? not, but the door always just gets opened. Really? That is you typically the time it. where me and Don are gonna just look it? at TikTok. So she'll bring her phone over, and I'm, <laughs> oh I'm just God. like together I'm, while yeah. you're pooping. I can't poop while I'm talking because that's weird. So I just... Kevin tried my squatty potty today, and okay. he said that. It... <laughs> there is no bidet, like I said. There I was took it out, though. I took it out. I literally took it out yesterday because it hasn't been used in so long. I was like, what if the water is like poisonous or something? And Kevin puts it in his butthole and dies of like yeah. septic anus or something. <laughs> I was like, because oh no one uses gosh. that bathroom. No one uses that imagine? Like, it could be like. Can you imagine that water? episode of medical emergencies or whatever? <laughs> I use your bidet. Po popular <laughs> micro influencer. <laughs> <laughs> dies of dave's but so i took well, it out i was like i don't know if it's yeah. i love that you That's thought about that you're like what if what if it's been sitting too long the paper over the top what not underneath Oh, I don't do that stuff. That's Tina's. Okay. Tina sets that. You up. don't we'll just put the roll. You don't just put the roll on the sink like regular people. <laughs> no, that's either. exactly what I do. Normally, it's on the sink. The fact that it's on the roll is like a little treat. For the <laughs> it's a little, like, a little extra. And I can't actually physically build anything. So partnerships yeah. and communities. Yeah. Me that's joy. actually not true. Ever since he got here, he dug a little hole and he's been pooping in it and he's trying to yeah, build the poop all the way up to the hole. Yeah, he keeps he it. keeps wanting to show you his poo hole. He's like, come check out this poop hole I have. <laughs> Look how much poo I got in my poo <laughs> hole, Dave. <laughs> he's so proud of his poop hole. Uh, can we make this a thing, kind of like the swinger thing? I would I would like that. <laughs> Mike just held up a sign. He says, if you can't trust District, trust TommyBernardPodcast.com. Tommy Tommy exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, school, so their their flips. thumbnail is I think me pooping in Ken's hand, <laughs> which I don't know where he got the photo of me oh, pooping. That, that reminds and me. And then so. saying YouTube's <laughs> tiniest podcaster and pointing at me, and then okay, still and then, not quite understanding clickbait. Still Let's not understanding awesome. clickbait. That's the whole thing because they're talking about it in the show and they're like, from now on we're gonna do total clickbait where it's got nothing to do with what we talk about. This is literally all they talked about for fifty two minutes this is the, was me the being a tiny was... YouTuber. <laughs> no, I, I actually thought I actually thought Harold hung with us really well. We were able to do poop jokes. We were mm -hmm. able to we were able to jam talk hands. about a lot of stuff. Yeah, jam yeah. hands. You wearing depends on your road trip and pooping and peeing in the goodwill. <laughs> exactly. I mean, just standard <laughs> standard podcast fare. Just the regular stuff you hear in any educational business podcast. The top mm -hmm. one hundred one. Right. <laughs> oh, speaking of Beanie Babies, uh, a viewer sent me this. A viewer named Chet sent me this. Carrie, I already showed Kevin on my Flipper video. Okay, yeah. so mm. you can see on the butt there it says "I love ISO Mill DF." Yeah. And then on its, on its tag, it says the tolerance teddy bear named Duffy. 
Uh, diarrhea? How embarrassing. With the firm <laughs> benefits of Isomil DF, I'm no longer blushing. Aww. For sale on ncflipper.com, guys. Come See, get them while quality. they're hot. See, that's funny. Though. That's <laughs> funny. And you do have, like, IBS and everything, so it's on. Brand. Oh, yeah. I'm pooping right now, actually. I've got this. Toy yeah, you were talking pre, pre, uh, pre-live. You were talking what about you how you enjoyed it? hot farts. That was interesting. Yeah, they're my favorite kind of farts, actually. It's amazing you can go live ever. It's quite shocking. This was gonna be. I I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. See, I had pooped my pants, but it was kind of embarrassing, so I wasn't gonna mention it because I was so scared. But it yeah, was I earlier guess. in the day, and it already yeah, dried. Exa- so. At that at that <laughs> point, you're just gonna you're just gonna lug it around. You're just gonna yeah. You're just gonna walk with Carrie, the log. Oh, speaking of that, okay. So I know we've had the sponsor of Preparation H. We've had tech, yes. Tuxnet medicated wipes. We've never officially had a sponsorship from Depends at all, right? That's true. But I was talking to their rep, and they know you're doing this travel across the U.S. You're going yes. from Vegas all the way to Tennessee, and then yeah, you're going I don't to New York stop. and Florida. I don't want to And so stop. this is kind of like the idea. They're going to provide you with a free pack of Depends, and you have Just to one not... one pack? That's all I get? <laughs> That's all you get. One. They're reusable. Like one day, <laughs> man. Yeah, you just wash them. <laughs> just wash them. <laughs> Put them on the washboard. Yeah. So anyways... The, the plan is for you to kind of talk every day like, hey, I'm in goodwill. I've got four fecal matters in my underpants right now and Depends is dependable. You know, it's not leaking at all. Yeah, that I sort of feel, stuff. Just kind of... <laughs> I don't feel weird at all shopping with this. <laughs> shopping with the with the twins. And... <laughs> so they've offered you they've offered you the free box of Depends and then also $14. So if you're willing, hey, man. you know. <laughs> I would have done the, the deal. $14 if I... is a store credit. Yes, uh, two depends. Two depends. <laughs> it only works the, at Walgreens, not Rite Aid. Yeah, they're so really trying to get us all on Depends.com <laughs> at this point. That's a big push they're making. <laughs> They've decided to go all in on the websites at this point. I was like a real troll when I was like a teenager, oh, and yeah. I would pull out my leg hair. Yeah. What? And I would put it on urinals. How's that for just? Why so would weird? you do That's that? Because then it would look like a really filthy urinal covered in pubes. We had a game where we would go to. A, we had a <laughs> Why game do where men do this. Yeah, this, this, this <laughs> what a is going on? That's a good one. We had a game where we would go to the grocery store and lay flat on the ground until somebody came up to see if we were okay. Okay. And that they, was the game. Just like scaring. It was before the internet, really. It was before yeah. YouTube, what? so we were easily entertained. Yeah, it was a different time, Don. You just don't understand. I guess so. You yeah. didn't do anything like that. You didn't. Like, like, about my leg hair. <laughs> 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 on toilet seats. No, no, I didn't. That I wasn't your that. thing. No, okay. no. You know, I saw a, uh, someone put it on Instagram, but it was like a sign they had found in a bathroom, and it's like a guy like hovering, like sitting on a toilet properly, and then next to it, there's a guy like doing the hover thing Ew. on the toilet, like, yeah. like yeah. up, and then the, there shows poop, like obviously it's a drawing, but like poop like shooting towards the wall, yeah. and it's got like a circle with a line through it, like don't do it that way. Like that's yeah. not how you're supposed to poop. Yeah, you're true. supposed to sit on the toilet and get the true. poop in the toilet. No, yeah, or one of and the, the, in the lower or upper decker. You you don't you well, want it inside of the. I thought thing. this was a reselling. And well, listen, yes, and Don, we are talking about the comment. Reselling. The comment. Open? That's yeah, part yeah, of life. Poop reselling is resell, life. Yeah. Well, anyways, the comment on that <laughs> on that picture was, "What happened to make the need a sign to even exist?" I like, feel like it's had to. What was the chain of events? Once, it's yeah. not like a one-time yeah. thing. Then you need a sign, and I think mm. two times it wasn't enough. It has no. to be like four to five times. Four to five. You need a sign. Dude, I used to work in the movie theater, and yeah. I every single Friday night I was cleaning poop off the wall, and I always just wondered, what? like, how Why? is the poop getting on the wall in the men's section? In the or men's room, I, I found it in both because I had to clean both, but men's was more often in that scenario. I mean, like, so. it's kind of inspiring in a way, though, because, like, how? Yeah, yeah. How? Well, there also Sometimes was, like... Sometimes you think something can't be done, and then it can. And they do it, yeah. They they cross the boundary, the barrier. They overcome the challenge, exactly. the hurdle. It's letting you know that yeah. if you have dreams, and even though they seem un- unobtainable, they can be obtained. This show's bad and, without Kevin, huh? Yeah, no, it's not a good <laughs> show in general. Hey, Brian, big and fun. I am also big and fun, but as you can tell, I'm also very rich. Now, the key to being rich as a reseller and having the finer things in life is basically selling out 100% completely. Now, selling out is something that a lot of us do, okay? All of us sell out, okay? You're not alone. You're not alone, okay? Selling out is something that we all have to do from time to time. Now, listen to me, Brian. (sighs) I've I've had some medical issues lately. I've had some medical issues lately that have um, made it a little harder for this, so. Uh, (sighs) 
okay? Just do what you have to do to make money. Support your family. Reselling might not be it for you. Reselling could be the, the wrong thing. Hmm. Yeah, reselling could be the wrong thing for you, but I appreciate the $33. Now, I said earlier $35 to everybody. It's $33. So the three people that I said 35, please give us an additional $2 a month. That'd be helpful. Because I am selling out. I'm literally pooping right now. Dave's watching me poop. I, I am full butt naked below the belt, okay? I'm out, butthole out. Very talking it right now. I feel a lot of pressure right now. So it's going in and out. Did he get, did he get, did he get your money's worth? Did you get your money's worth? I'm Brian. I'm Brian, did you get your money's worth? Oh, there's like a turd in here. That could be you. I had an incident. So there's one podcast oh, yeah. now calling oh, the episodes incidents. No, we're calling ours calamities. About that. <laughs> Calamity number five. But but listen, 000. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and like squash their incident thing by telling you my incident. Yes. Okay. Much better. Without even calling my episode incident. We're just so, gonna call it episode. Recently, I, I did this video where I'm driving back from Cincinnati and I'm complaining because I can't find a toilet and I had to pee really bad. And I was like, oh, drive me nuts. And so I got like 20 comments saying, Dave, have you, have you ever just peed in a bottle, peed in a cup, whatever? Peed your you just pee in a cup while you're driving, cool. right? They're telling me I should pee in a bottle, pee in a cup, whatever. And so like, I'm like, you know, that's a good point. And so. That's <laughs> disgusting. So you listen, missed let's just, the whole we're going bottle. there. We're going there. No, we're going there. Here, no, it's sort car. of similar, similar to this. Okay, we're getting to the incident. Carrie's almost on there. <laughs> Okay, so, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try this. All right, so I went and I get, I go Got to like a gas a station. So you can right fill it when up. the thing, <laughs> when the thing starts, right when my three hour drive from the Webster starts. Right, I'm like, I'm gonna get an extra cup in case I have to pee. That way, I can go all the way home. Right, and so I like get a whole extra cup because I don't want to try to pee in a bottle. That's a small little hole. Like I just felt like. Is there a bit of spray I'm back? I get in, pee from everywhere the cup, from the back of the like, cup. Because like. Yeah, well, no. Well, I'm just saying, like, if you're driving and trying to pee into a bottle with, like, maybe if you got a Powerade bottle and you got a little bigger opening or something, yeah. right? And so, like... I need know. a Starbucks tumbler, personally. <laughs> so, so, I, you know, I, I do this thing, right? I do the thing. <laughs> I do the thing, like, two hours into my drive. And uh, as... I don't remember the series of events that happened. I think I was trying to get rid of it. Because, like, now I've got this cup that yeah, smells cup in my car. Like, yeah. what do you do with it, People right? People don't talk enough about <laughs> like, the They don't post, talk about Steve. that part. They don't yeah. talk about the hot cup of pee you <laughs> the have. The smell in the car, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I think that's why they say use a bottle. So I'm learning, right? They said use a bottle because you can put a lid on it. And then yeah. it doesn't smell like pee in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the incident. I get to a red light. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to dump this pee out. I drop the cup on my lap and oh. spill the whole thing all over me. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you already That's an smell, incident, Ben. You already, That's an incident. You already smell like urine, so that made it even so, worse. Well, and so I have I have like a whole set of clothes in the back because I had been at the at the flea market the day before. And so I reach back and I like, I instantly pull off these peed on clothes while I'm driving, mind you. Yeah, so, so now I'm driving butt, butt naked. naked with <laughs> yeah, pee on clothes. That's what Kevin, that's what I'm Kevin like calls other down. people's clothes, pee on clothes. And I, I have to like put on clothing while driving and I've got like the pee on clothes. I like throw them into an Ikea bag. You should have just tossed like... them out the window, dude. It's <laughs> it's Florida. They're used to pissed on clothes on the side of a highway. <laughs> I will just say that uh, Tina was not very proud of me when I explained the whole situation of why I had peed on clothing when I got yeah, home. That's... She's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I said, I don't that's know. so good. That reminded me of back in the day. I used to That's have, an incident, guys. I had storage units a lot in Utah. And I remember like there was no restroom near the storage unit and I'd I'd be yeah. there for hours. So I'd I'd have to pee in a cup and then toss it yeah, down yeah. the drain. Yeah. So I'd just be walking around with this pee you know, <laughs> at my storage unit. <sighs> okay, so, so I mean there. I don't know. I didn't drop Give it your guys tips. Like Give your tips and hints of how to avoid what happened to me because I think like maybe the Powerade bottle you know, and, and the ladies they don't even have to worry about it. They just stop and they go like a normal person, they just go into a restroom and, and use that. So yeah. convention center. The big business house or whatever, I haven't Dude, done business no. in a while. <laughs> no, at LA Convention Center they have like the trough urinal where like just everything's on display the whole time. Sometimes they put ice at the bottom. 
you know. But no, that wasn't the point. The point was farting at urinals. Okay, Still so I want to know the top. your stance on farting at the urinal. Now, I know there's some people who don't use urinals in the viewership, but let me explain to you <laughs> that when you're at the urinal, there's often people right next to you. Okay, there are way too many women listen to this nonsense. By uh, the way. They're, there's a they're ton brilliant. Of women. brilliant We're giving them women. some inside baseball here. They like mm-hmm. to see the inside baseball. So. I have Not a friend the at the office. <laughs> at, like, when I'm in my office, there's a friend. I've been friends with him for 15 years. And every time, like, I go in there, if he's at the urinal, whether I'm washing my hands or if I'm at the other urinal, as soon as he starts going, he'll do. He'll start ripping loud farts, right? <laughs> and, like, I'm always like, well, if there's a time and a place, I guess this is it, right? So... Yeah. I mean, is there anywhere you can fart aloud and not feel shame? Is the urinal the spot? This is the first uh, question. I have a follow-on, too. Kevin, I, I, I personally would not, in a, in a public urinal with another person, I would know. Not have Especially a, like, a close friend. It's like, eh, I don't know. What I do you feel think like if you have that kind of confidence, worse. Yeah. if you have that kind of confidence, you have to follow it up with Maybe some like sort of comment. Maybe like your brother. You have to talk after. You have to make it known that you knew you did that, and you own it. Like yeah, you're like, hey, funny. hey, is there a, is there a mud duck in here? Did no, you yeah, hear you that? Just be like, oh, my man, experience we... is older people like like yes, Terry. That's the you next know, once question. you get to that age, you know, you mm-hmm. care less and less and mm-hmm. less. You know, when you're like eighty, yeah. you just they yes. think this. So here you go. Either that or they yes. can't control it. Well, yeah. Or okay, both. so so first off, I would say if you're if you're feeling like you're gonna do lots of farts while you pee, just go into the stall and close it. Like then, I feel like that's then the that's one spot acceptable. you can really let well, it fly. Because they can't see you. You can't feel the shame if they can't see you, Kev. <laughs> my, my grandmother. Who, I'm trying to fit bless in her soul. Sponsors, wait, wait. And I'm not even close. We're gonna. This wait. is we're about not, his grandma we'll, farting we'll, at a we'll, urinal. We'll, I need to hear we'll, this. We'll, we'll get right in the American Bubble Boy and the other one in a mm. second, which I forgot at this moment. But <laughs> to be honest, uh, <laughs> but my uh, grandma, who genie. was born in 1909, my grandmother you know, was in her 20s in the in the Great Depression. She always mm. used to tell me when she was super old and I was young, because that's how age works. Um, she used to tell me if you have to fart, you got to go to the bathroom. You got to go do it in the in a bathroom. So that's I guess- That's where they belong. In, exactly. So if a urinal is part of a restroom, so yes, farting is, is allowed. And I think it should I be embraced. I think it's acceptable. I think it's acceptable. I think it's the one place you can do it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't make me feel a little weird. Okay, and that's- It should but this be is what followed up. Me. Uh, by a joke, I guess. It should be followed up by a joke or turn your head, get the eye contact with the person next to you and a nod. That if would also be If this podcast acceptable. does better than last week's, then you're right and I We're surrender. going all in. I surrender. We're going all in. Carrie, what if, like, right as you do the fart, you look at him and you do kind of, like, a, a mischievous, like, look and be like, yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. If Like, you lift can. your eyebrows a little? It makes it worse. Be good. <laughs> like, a little weird and uncomfortable? No, just... <laughs> you got to have the eye contact, but like you're not looking at him, just dead in the eyes. Just like, is yeah. he staring behind me? Yeah, that's what yeah. you need. Okay, so the the reason I brought this up is because I'm at the LA Convention Center, and there's a very elderly man, as Kevin just pointed out. I mean, I don't know if he was yeah. 80. Maybe he was 80. He a was pretty younger, old. A little younger than um, Kevin. And now, for our 80-year-old viewers that Kevin brought, 80 is young. It's the new 20. Okay, so calm it's down. Right. It's but okay, anyways, guys. He's doing the He's doing the toddler pee, right? So his pants are pulled down. Right, so you can see oh, yeah, his butt the only, cheeks at the urinal. That's the only way to do it. That's the only way right? to do it. This is literally what he's doing. And then he starts farting. And now I feel like you've crossed a line at this point. <laughs> when your butt is out and you're farting at me, I feel like I'm going to get yeah. pink eye. I don't know what's going to be flying uh, out of there's, there. There's no, there's no um, protection in between there's you no and the air. layer at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, at least put your hand back on the butt cheek just to kind of suppress yeah. it a little. You know? Cup it. Cup it, <laughs> Cup it in there. You can even pull it up and sniff it if you want. Oh, but just don't God. blow it at me. Crap. <laughs> We're what's at 1546 the... <laughs> into the podcast, folks. <laughs> what's the necessity of, like, not just pulling the pants down? What What's the pl- – I mean, could could you not keep your pants up? Well, as an elderly man, okay, but let me tell you. I had a very <laughs> – like, a situation – I had a situation oh, where I kind of was like, oh, it would be nice to pull my pants down like a toddler right after that because Maybe for some reason advanced, my wife Dave. bought me Maybe boxers. My wife bought me boxers with no hole in the front. So when you're at the urinal, like it's very difficult to Nobody facilitate. Uses... No, you don't use the use... hole. No, I no. use the hole, bro. No, what are oh you my doing? Gosh. How, how are you guys <laughs> pulling didn't... it all down? Like I don't know. We're, I would say so, deep. but I just would regret. We'll that talk after the show about are, how I need to manage are, my equipment. <laughs> we are right at Kevin's limit before he's going <laughs> to ruin his I'm image. All... Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Seriously, juvenile 
and just disrespectful. You'd think we were in middle school. And it's weird that Kevin doesn't put a stop to it because he's like, he is he's more a teacher. mature. He knows, he knows our weaknesses and you feel like he would compensate at some point for it. But he kind of gives into it and sometimes even embraces it. Yeah, there's like two reviews that are like just coming to mind on, yeah. the, on the Apple podcast. Too much useless rambling from Nanul. Yeah. If you want to learn about reselling or keep up with the latest tips and info that bring value to your goals, this isn't the podcast for you. That that hits. Yeah, because and then look at the last sentence: bunch of backdoor rednecks talking about nonsense. Which, like, literally, we just spent what twenty minutes talking about ripping leg hair off and putting it on toilet yeah. seats and peeing in urinals and farting at urinals. Like, what? In I the think world? that that was it. That kind of surmised everything, man, mm -hmm. and it, it made it crystal clear. And I'm tired. I'm just yeah. tired, man. I'm tired yeah. of all this. I mean, luckily, there is a few more sets of clips here. So there's hope. Is there? I don't know. We should quit. <laughs> we should definitely quit. Yeah I, yeah, I don't even... I'm cool, man. Like, we don't have to do it. Like, do you want to watch the last one? Should we call... We're not calling Kevin. I just kind of want to go home at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, so this next set of clips, like, at least from what uh, Elijah was telling me, because he found a lot of these, is, like, they don't have anything to do with, you know, poopy talk or inappropriate content or anything I like that. I hope we like, have some of that, man. I hope we do. But he could be, like, exaggerating because he knows I'm a little upset. Yeah. So it could be bad or good. It could just be, like, I don't know. I think let's we're just, just getting see. what we deserve, man. Let's just say. Ourselves, you know what I'm saying, in other places because I'm so close to the city. So it's it gets really difficult. And, you know, like, I need to get to the nitty-gritty, like, dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I need I want to walk up to the – look, Kevin would tell you, we walk up to this one-yard sale, man. <laughs> I don't know what was going on back in the back <laughs> of the shed, man. But like, <laughs> meth you know is going on yeah. in the back of the shed. <laughs> but like, there hasn't been a meth find, explosion. Mm, that's where you find the good doing. stuff, man. Like, we did good saying. there. That was you, an I, absolute junky, the, nasty. Most people would have drove away. We did all right. Vintage glass to cook up meth. It just adds flavor. <laughs> 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 it gives you that good taste. You see that Hashtag good facts. Meth. Hashtag facts. <laughs> I tell you, the best thing I I got though was demonetized. That, that stretch. Tim, is that a Murano that... crack pipe you got there? <laughs> <laughs> Ask Jocelyn. She probably oh, did. Murano crack pipe. All right, here we, here we go. go. Cut. We There's got him highlight. to say it. We got him to say it. Cut, it. Cut that. There we what? go. We got a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you though. I'll tell you though, man. The best thing I got during that was the Duke, the Duke pennant, man. That's Look at a chair, guys. Do you see the chair? Kevin didn't show up. Hey everyone, it's the Trash to Cash Podcast. You got the NC Picker, Carrie American Arbitrage, and our special guest, Commonwealth Pickers Chair. Hey Chair, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Hello guys. Hey, for you listening, Kevin's not here, it's just his chair, and he doesn't even top know we're recording yet. This is top notch. <laughs> Watch him just go in a string of swear words right now. Yeah, let's see. Let's Don't see. tell him. Don't here tell he him goes. what. Here he goes. Hey Kev. Hey buddy. How's it going? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's going. What, did you start live here? No, no, we, we would never. never. We would live. never. Say whatever you want. Mm. It's okay, mm. yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you were saying mm. earlier. I was looking forward to that friendly banter before the show. We can do that. Now, People want to be a part of that. Today? How was your day today? Yeah, how, how was your day today? I'm sorry. Actually, we do have to start the show in a specific way today. So we're going to have to turn off our cameras for a minute, Kevin, if you can yeah. just hold the show. Sorry, one moment. <laughs> okay oh, they'll talk about american <laughs> bubble boy hey we have another sponsor too what are we doing why am i on the show no why no am I it's here? fine no you're good. don't worry about like it man here. <laughs> we're here to start the trash to cash podcast the way we always start it with a review of the latest batman movie okay oh, so i'm dave the nc batmaner why and with me is carrie the you know more How financially do I do struggling Batman. Mm. <laughs> I'm I'm Trailer Park Batman. <laughs> <laughs> trailer Park Batman. And see, the problem uh... is, like, I'm a little bearded for Batman, but I think it's okay. So, as you know, Kevin, our assignment this week that we gave you was to go see the Very Batman. Very explicit email. Starring Edward <laughs> yeah. Cullen from it's got, Twilight. It's got Edward from... I got a cape, mm -hmm. but it's all mm -hmm. weird. It was a movie about Batman, and uh, it was real dark and not very fun-loving or happy. Yeah, it was a little bit depressing. Mm -hmm. I, it was I, left, I left feeling feeling empty. And that's why our sponsor is Outback Steakhouse. Did Outback. I get it right, Kev? Did I get it right? The only Ooh, I want my baby no. back, baby back, baby back. Outhouse no. or Outback. <laughs> Outhouse. <laughs> okay, Kevin, we're ready. No, I seriously know. Our sponsor <sighs> might be Yardaroo, maybe. Yardaroo. Oh, that, wow. 
Is that right? It's like the bad Garage kids sale. in the back of the room got something right one time. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> if my homework Every was anything beyond was just teaching, saying the name, I don't know what. I just what go A, B, C, D on my stance on. Just A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. <laughs> no, Yarderoo is the world's best app for the thing it does. Garage sale. It helps you find gar- it helps you find garage sales, dude. Um, the they product ar- Yeah. <laughs> the, pro- <laughs> the, the product arrived, but it didn't work. I need to mm-hmm. return it. Mm-hmm. What and was they the never item? and they never returned it and left negative feedback. Probably an in a man. I bet you money it was an in a man. No, it was yeah. a, it went to Puerto Rico. <laughs> no. It's like trying to put it in. It's like it's too soft. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like it didn't help his sales at all. Okay, so this is the picture. Carrie got negative feedback for this photograph. And so the, the complaint is that they looked the same <laughs> height, but Gonzo was too short. Yeah, uh, yeah basically, he, he, we implied with the picture that they were the same height. I think uh, that's a strategic leg hanging off the table there, too. Yeah, and Gonzo. That, like, that was picture. predetermined. Did you run out of room on the table? <laughs> like, what was to the left of that? Like, that you couldn't push it over like, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Guys, yeah, you're no. missing the point here. You're missing the point. <laughs> you sold Don't it for eighteen ninety nine. What was the best offer? Your joke. Why did the reseller date the shoe? Hmm? He dated mm. the shoe. Why did he date the shoe? To me, Dalton. He he mm. heard it was a hot item with a great soul, but he was just in it for the quick flip. Oh, very good. <laughs> I said I said, by the way, I got that joke from ChatGPT and I said, <laughs> make the I said, make the joke more sexual. And it said, "Why?" <laughs> said, yes, yes. Well, and what then, else would you ask? No, and then after they do it, ask them to do it again. It'll be like telephone. It'll get more and more sexual. It says, "Why did the re- why did the reseller get kicked out of bed every time things heated up?" He kept saying, "This will have great resale value." <laughs> Which, I don't, is that like a... Tell him to make it more sexual. <laughs> do it. Do it. Okay, okay, okay. It says, I strive honey, to provide it. content that's respectful and pr- appropriate. Oh. However, I understand you're looking for something even edgier. So here's a more <laughs> risque <laughs> joke. <laughs> Why did the reseller's girlfriend break up with him in the bedroom? He kept trying to list her assets and check for wear and tear. Ooh, man. Oh, it's <laughs> getting more. The, the do it again. Make it more risque. <laughs> that isn't even that bad. That's, That's actually funny. somewhat funny. I don't understand uh, it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push the boundaries a little further, ChatGPT <laughs> says. Why did the reseller's date get mad at him at the end of the night? He said he was used to inspecting goods before making a purchase and asked if she came with a return policy. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. I'm like, who sits there and adds up the numbers of who? I would have, if I were you, I would have said, you you know, why don't you say that to my face? You can come visit me at my palatial estate with my chicken farm, my (laughs) seven (laughs) Teslas, just a bunch of people doing Uh, my work for me. All I was saying is I don't think there's any platform that you absolutely need to be on. Yeah. Bonanza? Reseller. And so, no, I don't think... You, well, I mean, Bonanza, you need to be on Bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start doing let's a have, live I can, let's have under a... the table when they're speaking, and yeah. I could just like be filming down there like, I'm under the table at FlipCon, <laughs> everybody. Do. These let's are Harry a, Tornado's uh, legs. Uh, let's have a tip jar. <laughs> let's have a tip jar and really push people to give Ooh, us live jar, super like chats. <laughs> yeah, super chat? I'll just, just keep answering super chat. And Carrie just makes dolphin noises <laughs> there. As <laughs> Money? <laughs> Money, please, money. And on DVD, and this is great because Kevin and Eric are now both getting wet from the rain. This is true. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> guys, plan where we're supposed to sign. I feel great. Nice overpass. Look at Eric. Thank you, thank you for coming deep. on the show. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Make sure yeah, you guys check it. out his check channel. out his channel. Great guy, great right, reseller. And we'll see you later. Now, I mean, this weather is uh, inclement. I'm out just in time to not get sick. Yeah, later. This is inclement weather. Now, Kevin, you can scoop forward a little <laughs> yeah, bit. I think I'm going to have to. Or get we could get camera. you, like, uh, if you want to put on a white t shirt, that'd be fine. <laughs> the viewers asked for they it. Have and asked I think for we it. should deliver I think the uh, 70 to 90 year old crowd uh, would enjoy that. <laughs> the whole entire you're like a You're home. like a young Jimmy Stewart. The mm. problem is the amount. We'd, we'd overload the hospitals. It's true. <laughs> With it's Kevin's true. wet t shirt. <laughs> kind of lean over. Yeah, right lean, here, you right, get all hugsy Not like me and Carrie. You see how we kind of like put like our heads on each other? This is actually how we do the podcast. This is how we do it. So I got we got three bedrooms here, and I'm like, you know, Don and Carrie, this is just like, no, no. It's 
Carrie and Dave's room, so, and yeah. Dawn sleeps over she gets here. Her own. That's we're, nice. we're sleeping. She gets her own room. We're sleeping <laughs> back to back. Okay, it's fine. It's it's comfy. The you're not, bromance you're not is spooning. real. Okay, so I'm spooning only when I get scared. Just, yeah, when there's <laughs> like lightning. Lightning and thunder. It's all that sort of right stuff. Right now, it's calm. <laughs> Trash to Cash podcast. Hi, yes. Gary. Hey, Episode what's up? How are you? Oh, 96, I guess, because we're counting the live stream as yeah. 95, Kevin. That was 95. Ooh, that was an extra get Anything to get to Gary. 100 so Gary V can come on the show, which the I love how, can I just no, say... No, I never got the stuff. I just want to say one thing, and I don't know. Can you guys see? You can see the TV. Welcome right to lunch, there. guys. Let's okay, do it. Okay, so you've got Trash to Cash podcast, right? And then yeah. right below it, Kevin's number one previously watched is Manscaping. Man. <laughs> 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 is that wait really minute, true? No, it's not true. <laughs> I just, I just want to say. <laughs> oh, please, can we see it? I'll uh, move. I don't know. You, I, don't know. I just want to say my, my TV my has been unattended. Oh, uh -huh. Put it back on. You can't so, escape. From so, me. who was in here watching the manscaping video then? Uh, well, you know, it might have been Jess. It might have been Bubba. Bubba. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Bubba's girlfriend. Wait, I'm just glad you're clean shaven. <laughs> That's good. I'm just glad that you're keeping it. You're keeping it clean. You're keeping I would the Commonwealth. Just say right now, on granny. under control. On granny. So it is on God, Granny, yeah, on God, God, God on I've Granny, on Granny, right on now. Granny. <laughs> or maybe Heather is trying to hint. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's time. It's maybe, on the garage maybe it's sale time account, to clean up the so cabbage patch. Know. You know what I mean? Oh, it's on the garage sale nation account. Interesting. Yeah. So somebody's on there. You know, listen, it could have been something worse. The only you know? time anybody's been. logged into that. There's is, a lot of worse things. Uh, well, At least it shows you care. You know, <laughs> sometimes caring is all that matters. You know. It was a good one. And she said you move fast at the garage sale. She said that you're like, zip, 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 zip. And I think it's because you're so beautifully manscaped. Yeah, it's the manscaping. It's the uh, going no, to the no friction. going to the mall and doing your uh, Saturday morning speed walks yeah. with the elderly. I mean, basically, imagine you're the mustard. And Carrie only carries mustard in his yeah, house. Yeah, because like, that's his I have condiment. No, you got to remember, Don is not here, Don so there's no back. food in the refrigerator. So <laughs> I, buy, spoiled. I buy chit. Really, just pretend you are the mustard as uh, Carrie. Be the mustard. No, 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 no. Yeah, be the mustard. Carrie, do you remember what this actually is? Like <laughs> what you're supposed enough, to say? Carrie. What's up? I'm sorry. No, I'm do it. Do it. You're just supposed to say the person's name. You're supposed to yell oh, his yeah. name and thank oh, him. I oh, buy sh <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> shite. How do I say it? Shit. 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 Uh, I heard Carrie again. swear for the first time. I buy. Here, somebody get this uh, ready for reels. All right, I start over. No. How do I say it without it sounding like the S word? I buy sh. It's the reason you have to say it all over again. Can we say it and still be monetized? <laughs> no, I have to cut oh, these mm. all out. Try again. Chit. I buy shite. <laughs> I you buy know the. I buy. You're saying cheese. <laughs> Pretend you're saying cheese. I buy cheese. It's. <laughs> I buy shit. Right? Mm. I buy shit. <laughs> I do. I really do buy. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells like mustard, guys. Oh my gosh. Mm. This has been the worst jelly hands ever. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I need to get prepared for I jelly hands. I can't even see anything on your face, well, what bro. What do you want me to do? Just You're squirt it. Squirt it right at your face. Squirt it right at your face. This pronounce. has only been a fitting. I don't want to. I got to take a second shower. That's Every time you do this, you are getting thin up there. I can. It gets a little thinner. Oh, oh. it's a widow's peak happening. Yeah. It's aggressive and it's mm -hmm. annoying me, and I'm not happy about it. It <laughs> happens when you age. Say it one more time, but say it right this time. I buy. I buy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I did the C-H. <laughs> he did the C-H and then he said the swear. <laughs> no, I buy sh**. <laughs> Wait, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay we'll, we'll have to put no, the uncensored no, no, no. version of this on the Patreon too. <laughs> Do it. Because I'm going to censor the crap out of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I accidentally you... bought some, uh, some nudie magazines this weekend. That was a mistake. I did not yes. realize they were nudie magazines. Oh yeah, I accidentally did. He is too. keeping them. He's refusing <laughs> no, to. No, well, film. listen, this guy had an awesome record collection. He had like these crazy posters like uh, Marilyn Manson felt 1990s poster that's like a blacklight poster like all this cool stuff all these like 
tab That's books cool. from Metallica and like tour books from Madonna in the 90s and stuff like all this really cool stuff and he also had like some magazines and some of them were Playboys and I was like well nope those are you know nudie magazines I don't want you those don't sell that I, I don't sell that on my store. No, I thought you weren't even allowed to anymore. Didn't they take it away? I thought they took that away. I don't know. I yeah, I'm pretty sure them. you're not Some even Herbert's supposed to. Uh, anyways, I don't know. Put them on, put them but on they the had a magazine cares. called Easy Rider that I thought it was like a motorcycle magazine. Yeah, nope. but no, there's naked people. Nope. So didn't realize. I that. immediately told you, you knew because you that's you've not subscribed. You know, you're from well, Utah. You don't have that hey, there. Are they wearing subscriber bed sheets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. With our three percent alcohol yeah. beer. Okay. So, anyways, Carrie, they're in the mail. That's all I wanted to say. I'll send you the tracking number. <laughs> <laughs> Long story <laughs> short, you're getting your smut, pervert. <laughs> Stop texting me. I'm in the oh seat my gosh, what? Scared You're scared too. Yeah, they're all oh, scared. no, I would never be scared. You're not scared. <laughs> Tina scared. Just scared? No, not scared. So these are the scared trashers. I'm gonna... So what do you have to say? Like, what, what's going to happen? I'm afraid of heights. But what's going to happen? Nothing. The heights going to attack you? Nothing. Come, come, look <laughs> not <laughs> come look out this window. I'm looking at the Carrie, come look out the window. Come on. You two are going to save $70. <laughs> <laughs> I spent $70 to sit here terrified. What is going on? What is going here, have some popcorn. Eat away the fear. Anxiety <laughs> popcorn? Yeah, I thought these things were way bigger than they are. And I can be like, a... I'm not recording you are, here. You're stealing my viewers, my views, uh -huh. you're exploiting uh -huh. my yeah. anxiety. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Oh, we're taking a picture. We're taking a picture. I'm taking a picture. I'm taking a picture. Taking a picture. Picture. Definitely not a video. That's where all I'm looking at. Look at that. You got this beautiful garage in the background. Bootleg fugglers. I know a guy who will skip a mortgage payment to buy those. Oh, hey, Soda City. What are you doing here, dude? You look weird, man. You look, you look like an odd duck out here. Um, in the middle of a parking lot as usual, just doing business deals, and it seems like you've come to cash in on what I owe you, which is a motivational speech. Now, here's the motivation for you today. I mean, this is motivation, am I right? Also, success, my friend. Success is built on failure. And boy, oh boy, are we failures. Am I right, buddy? Look, there has been so many things I failed at, in and out. I was fired from there. Fire! I once worked at Olive Garden and I was so scared to quit that I left a letter before my shift in the door when they were closed and I thought that was normal. That's Awkward normal time for a letter. Okay? I once worked at a telemarketing place, several of them. Let me tell you, I was not good at that. We already so knew all that. all those failures brought me to here making deals for bootleg f fugglers. Is it fugglers? Yes, in it's fugglers. Fugglers are the future. To my friends, success. You're gonna edit this out right now? Yeah. I gotta go. I don't know whose uh, Cadillac that is. But they're not gonna like that I was trying to get in. Oh, oh wow, wait, turn off your camera. Turn off your camera. Turn off the camera. Oh, turn off the camera. Well, we're not- Turn off the camera. What, what? Not you, Kevin. We're what? hiding from you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're not associated we with your just... negativity. <laughs> Kevin doesn't round up at the Goodwill. And Kevin, oh, I just want to, yeah. you know, <laughs> call you out that, on that. <laughs> There's like all types of people suffering because you're not rounding up. Maybe you could explain mm -hmm. yourself, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> he only goes like once right. every three so months. I have, there's, there's no way that I look good in this story. But here's yeah. the thing. I notice companies, um, they seem to get vaguer and vaguer about what they're rounding up for too. When I go to like different <laughs> places, they're just like, hey, do you want to round up for people and stuff? I swear it's getting that vague. I'm like, uh, I, I don't mind. I want to give to, you know, give to people who need it. But a lot of times, you know, it's just going that to, just happened you don't know where it's Bell, going. Carrie. Yeah, Taco it Bell, just what did they happened. say? Dude, they said, would you like to round up for students? Students in school. I'm like, my Where'd students are in school. Like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? I had. What I did today. Uh, Carrie. Okay, let's look through Carrie's negative feedback. Okay, so he got oh, a negative gosh. feedback. <clears throat> this is there's a recurring theme here, Kevin. 
Brian, oh wait, this is some guy. In, okay, you sold something called a Brian Ulliker <laughs> Mosaic Prism Bear Card. Okay, okay. comment was took ten days to ship and didn't get it in time for my autograph to get it autographed by Brian. So I guess yeah. he was going to meet Brian. Uh, next, next negative can feedback. I, can I defend myself? No, no, let me read the next one because it's basically the same <laughs> thing. Took it. 10 days to ship, exclamation point. Tried contacting and got no response. Buyer beware. Okay. Wow, I don't even wow. remember that one. <laughs> and wow. then he's got 100,000 followers. Yeah, item okay. wasn't delivered. Contacted seller, but they were a, of little help. <laughs> <laughs> Never I got it. I refunded How are these that items person. just disappearing? Like, is that a card thing? They just disappear with that card shipping. Honestly, method? with with the card shipping method, a few of them disappear every now and then. And as far as the ten day, I have extended handling, but I actually was one day past my extended handling on that Erlacher. And I, no, you I understand. Actually, I, I think that, I shipped that one before the extended handling was up. Actually, <laughs> I put like five days extended because I don't want to be bothered. Okay, I was going to say, like, 10 my, days, my even if you put extended handling, people still don't like waiting 10 days. No, no, no mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't do that to not be bothered. What happens is, like, when I was going from southern Utah to northern Utah, I'd put five days on there, and I'd just, like, not take it off. Mm-hmm. And then I'd mm-hmm. the new stuff, I would put, like, one or two days. So there was some stuff that had super extended handling and other stuff that didn't. Look, I'm not a perfect eBayer. But I'll say this: I have a hundred thousand followers on Instagram right now. Actually, a hundred, a hundred one thousand, a hundred one thousand followers. So, and it's I not am. even your account; it's Plumber Girls. Mm. So you're good. <laughs> you're, it's not even related to you. <laughs> no. So no. listen, I think well it's mention fine, mention Carrie. all the positives I have. I have hundreds and hundreds of positives. No one looks at those. They look at the eleven <laughs> neutrals just, instead. Just read read one of my positives. It'll be beautiful. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm going to read it. <clears throat> Seller was okay with communication, but shipping practices need to be changed very slow to ship. He uses a second <laughs> The delivery is a That's a neutral. That's a neutral. That's not fair. That's okay, not fine. Fair. I'll read a positive. I'll read a positive. <clears throat> Get on his account, Gary. <laughs> Well packaged and arrived on time. Great communication as well from the seller. I look forward what? to more purchases in the future. A what? plus 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 plus. Yeah, Hold I on. got the A plus. Hold on. Plus plus plus, plus 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 plus. I get it. No, no, no. But for real, we got we got a we got a really negative comment. So let's read it. Did we really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Betty Wilson toast. Too much silly talk and laughter. Not enough mm-hmm. substance. Not Feel not like I'm wasting my picking. time listening. They just can't stay on topic or any topic for that matter. <laughs> Two stars out of five. Listen, <laughs> Betty Wilson toast. <laughs> screw you. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to cordially invite I'd like to cordially invite <laughs> Betty Wilson toast, toast to stop listening to our podcast. <laughs> Immediately no. turn it off. No, turn it off. Terrible. Is it still on? Betty, turn it Betty, off. Turn Betty. It off. Betty, you're Betty not turn to listen it off. Betty, turn it off. If Betty is listening, listening to this podcast at one hour and 22 minutes in. And we've, we've mm. basically had no substance this whole time, so I'm pretty That's sure true. she tuned out. Silly talk. Silly talk. Really. Silly, silly talk. If okay. Betty's under That's, 80 years old, I will give aggressive. you my left eyebrow. First off, listen. In Utah, when people say something silly talk, we're not going to knock on your door and offer you free cookies on a Sunday. So you need to calm down. Buy okay. Spy Hut's screwing you. Duck. Don't buy it from Trash to cash. <laughs> to save money, though. Tra- right? Yeah, I don't know. If saving that, five. Right? So we're you still save five that, right? percent, the best deal but you lose 40% of the bubble Huge wrap. margin. Just, so use, just get in our Patreon. Spend money there. That's fine. No. Okay, so... What are the dimensions of the supply hut? He's the, the affiliate actual shed I don't that know. you have, Kevin. What are the dimensions? Yeah, the dimensions supply hut. Well, they're probably of your, wrong. Of your, <laughs> so whatever what you think they 20 are, they're wrong. <laughs> exactly. So Charlie probably only gave you like a is what 10. You're really telling us? <laughs> What's going what? on? What can you tell What's us? What's happening, Kevin? Charlie why? Why did this happen, Kevin? And you've got skin in the game too, as much as you want to poke fun at me. We're going to try so, to push that know, on you as much as possible. But that's kind of the angle I'm going for. Yeah, we'll be putting you under the bus tonight. That's our plan. Well, Actually, to be, be fair, fine. if you go watch my first time talking about Supply Hut, I said, I don't know if you should buy the bubble wrap. I still buy it from American Bubble Boy. Well, I did try well, buying it. It smelled like cigarettes. You know, I'm <laughs> trying to process everything in my mind here. We're live. Trash to Cash is live. Do you hear me, guys? We're hiding. We're in the back room. Check it out. <laughs> We're in like the kitchen or something. Uh, I'm get they're getting Carrie and Kevin for trash to cash 
secret undercover uh, reseller rally behind the scenes action. Where's Kevin and Carrie? I need something to hold my laptop up. You think I can steal one of these food boxes or something? Good job. Here, microphone, we're live. <laughs> what, we already started? We're live, yeah. Hey, welcome to Trash to Cash, guys. We're in, this is live from the kitchen at the Embassy Suites. <laughs> How's everybody going? No we're chance live, guys. this podcast we're live. is happening. Yeah. It's happening. We're on it's it right well, now. I'm it's, saying we're it's live literally happening. happening. <laughs> yeah, what's the... Victor Fuentes is here. Oh, Trash Sherry? Cat Rescue. Bearded Pokey Tube. Oh, kitchen. <laughs> from is, the kitchen, guys. We're, we're literally in the kitchen. In the kitchen. This know, is this employee we're keeps walking by and he's got these keys, but he's like... Me and Andrew kind of cool. hid. Oh. He didn't. He kind of pretended like he didn't see us. So he's cool. <laughs> he Can y'all cool. hear? You're... Let's talk about prostates for a minute because I had mine checked this week, and nice. that's invasive. Did, that's a, a rather you... invasive test. <laughs> did they buy you dinner first, at least? She didn't. She's like, no. we're about to be real close friends, and then she just went on in there, double fingered. It was very upsetting. Nice. No lube, so, just right in there. I right think she there. did use some lubrication. I'm not okay. entirely sure. I couldn't see. It didn't hurt as bad as I thought. That's my review no. of the prostate <laughs> exam. <laughs> so, Carrie, have you had one yet? No, not yet. Nah, I, I recommend yet. it. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to it. I thought like it was like 40 or 45, but yeah, I probably need to. Well, start yeah, that's why it. Kevin has had 30 uh, colonoscopies. <laughs> Kevin has 30 one every years. 10 years. No, yeah. I, well, nobody watched it. It was a 10, you know. Was it a 10? Yeah. You know, sorry, Rod. Yeah, but our bad VHS thumbnail. video is killing it. Rod I intentionally did a VHS bad video. thumbnail on that one because I just I want Rod to fail. You know, that, that, Rod, that's just what I want, you know? I love how Dave is all into reselling talk, talk this episode. He even points out that there are there <laughs> that they're on the reselling train this episode. Poor Kevin. It only happens when he's not on the show. Well, Sweet. Kevin's actually the the negative influence of the show. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, right. Dave got mad at me last episode for not talking about reselling when he literally started out the podcast with his prostate exam. Yes, like, that was... Dude, that went great. That went great. Giving a, great a demo prostate. with the finger. I've actually been doing a self-exam every day since. I mean, and it's just really... <laughs> Did you use the finger? Yeah, this finger here. Yeah, oh, that no, no, finger the back there. The red yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, now <laughs> I have Dave, to. he buys two giant fingers on this trip down to Houston, you know? Yeah. Dave's a good picker, and Don is too. <laughs> <laughs> I love the name you left All out, right, of that. man. <laughs> I love that disrespect. I accept it. Saturday, Diva. Dave is in it. I will say, I got to give Dave credit because it starts day two's video, which I just edited. It's not out yet. It'll be out. Actually, it'll be out right before this podcast airs. Okay. Dave finds all the good stuff at the yard sale before we get to the community mm, where the yard sale true. was. I did do that. Yeah. It was unfortunate. Found a lot of sure. great stuff in that community, too. I got a lot of holes yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Your Patreons who love Dave. You got to understand, mm. y'all. These people love Dave. Dave. They love Dave. <laughs> they don't like that. I'm telling you, I didn't get to talk to Grams and Pops that much. I didn't. I, they all wanted to be around Dave. Happy mm. They all mm. wanted to be well, Dave. Well, I mean, you also kind of sectioned off a little spot for yourself and charged a fee for people true. to talk oh, to you. Were, so. Let's be break. fair. You're, the table you were at at the dinner was just you and I think seven or eight groupies is what I would call them. You know no, what we gotta uh, do? James Gandolfini, it's uh, the Sopranos. Mm -hmm. No, you know what we gotta do? You know what we gotta do, which I've seen before on groups like this, is like uh, self promotion thread, like once a week, where you can post your YouTube video once a, once week, a yeah. week and people can go look at that thread if they want some new content. And they can mm. click and check out your videos. I think that'd be cool. So we've got to make that video. trash to cash, though. We have but to say you we, can but share, but they can only share our videos. One of us three. But they can share we get videos. Itself. <laughs> no, no, no. Funny. No, no. Here's a better thing. You can only share your video if you make fun of something you do. You have to self-deprecate uh, okay. your own video. Yeah, you each have time to you post your video. Like, my sure. voice is stupid in this video, guys. Check it out. Like, that's how yeah, you Yeah, exactly. To there we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I like if it. you look closely, you can see that my leg is bleeding. I don't know why that. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> check, check out my toes. <laughs> my toes are kind of askew. <laughs> my lo my one toe is longer than mm. my other toe. <laughs> Dick, if you host an event like like the hor horny the, the horny tornado, every tornado, horny, tor horny tornado, that's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> horny tornado. <laughs> I need the 
tell you guys what was in, I didn't tell you guys the only fan page comes. right there. So the reason everyone comes is because Horny Tornado comes to the <laughs> I'm never not calling him Horny Tornado ever again. <laughs> I'm only calling him that. Only. Because I get it. I get it. I get what Rakens feel. I get it. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Sorry, Josh. Sorry. <laughs> Josh, if you get the right people to come, then people will show up. Why what did you, you think of the new, uh, the new nickname for Harry Tornado that Rake and Prophet came up yeah. with? Did you hear what it was, Kevin? Uh, it's good. I'm think never think calling him anything far. other than Horny Tornado forever. <laughs> <laughs> that was That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. No more nicknames. <laughs> make some memes, guys. <laughs> Wait, no, don't make memes Oh, don't make a meme of that. Don't make a meme of that. I've always been like really big into uh, hip-hop and battle rap. I, I love like listening hmm. to battle raps on... Uh, so what? When do you think you'll be doing your first battle rap on yeah. your channel? Like, could we do one now? Let's yeah, do let's one do now. Carrie versus you. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. All right. You've got to in- integrate the word Spider Man. Carrie, you go first. Wait, I'll drop a beat. Oh, I gotta go first. Come on, I'm not even a battle rapper. Okay, uh, I, I guess I'm. I, hey, I'm the man. Look at me, Spider Man, flowing through the the screen like a, a a man. Yeah. See, I suck at that. I'm not. I'm not into it like Raken. Let's see what Raken. All right, here's my bad beat for you, Raken. Ready? Yeah. Raken profit. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> He's just gonna go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rick and uh, Profit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. More money, more problems. More money, more problems. Okay, you do the beat. I can't beatbox. Go. Let me do acapella. All right. Let me. Go oh yeah, ahead. do it acapella. Yeah. Good. That's called again. Uh, trash trash cash. cash. When it comes to battle rap, you don't want to battle me. You better just pass. Cause I don't think you got anything in your bank account. Ooh, Everything you got is trash. That's fair. How are you gonna try to come against Rick and Profit with a rap? Oh, let me pull off my bag. Oh, you want to add that in my backpack? It might make you laugh. It's my YouTube plaque. (laughs) 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 I knew he carried it in a backpack. I knew it. I saw your podcast before, and I'm like, I put it in my backpack. (laughs) Well done. Well played. You figured out the key to the podcast. Don't take yourself too seriously. I love it. Dude, okay, so how much will you sell me that for? Because I'm interested. I'm a buyer. Uh, (laughs) I want to get my banner, but I want it to be yours. Is it real (laughs) silver? That's what I want to know. Carrie, it's time to come clean. Elijah didn't edit any of this. I found the clips. What? I just, like, I was hoping if I, like, framed it like Elijah found them, then maybe you'd come in with an open mind and maybe you'd talk me out of this, but it's not been happening. I'd hash it, dude. I'd, I'd delete it all and I wouldn't tell anybody else. Yeah. I wouldn't even tell Kevin. Yeah, and it's, I thought, you know, maybe if Carrie sees this, like, maybe I'm looking at it from the wrong perspective and the reviews just got in my head, but, like, no, uh, it seems like clear. you agree with these reviews, that we just should stick to our knowledge and say, not our comedy. I would say we had a good run, but, but we, we didn't. didn't. No, we didn't. like, we got this comment, stick to your knowledge, not your comedy. Listening to this podcast like a bad trip to the Goodwill bin. So it almost seems yeah. like they're trying comedy, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, over-aggressive shoppers, and your ears are a fresh pile of merchandise, and the hosts are shoppers constantly shouting directly into your ears. Well, you do shout a lot. Yeah. yeah. Is, that an, is this an analogy? You guys are flat-out unlistenable. Still, months later. He listened for months. For months. Um, he put I, a lot of effort into something that was unlistenable. If I wanted to listen to a group of attention-hungry people shout over each other with, with and then what? it cuts off. I don't yeah. know. And the username on this, I especially Hawny. Yeah. Anyways, especially Hawny is literally the name. And like, if a guy like that with this level of comedy is making me feel this bad, then it just proves that he's right. I think... He's especially correct about this, and mm-hmm. I I respect what they're. I think they're trying to help us. I feel like it's yeah. an intervention. Yeah. Well, listen. There's like, I don't know. There's there's one clip that I found that like someone tried to put me in my place, and I just yeah. proceeded to mock him at the end, anyways. And like, you've it's done just, that a lot, man. Yeah. You've done it a lot. I've it's been, an example. Yeah. You've done it to me. I know. I'm sorry, man. The show. I feel is... like you are, but I accept your apology because I'm a bigger man. I'm better now because of this. Mm. I'm better now. Am I? I watch it all this. seems fake. Watch this clip. Like this is where someone finally treated me the way I deserve to be treated. <sighs> Our friend Reezy. Reezy resells. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So that's. So we also ask our patrons to give us questions for each show, and I specifically told them you would be on the show. 
Nice. Uh, Mike, so let's see what they asked us. You gotta uh, okay, so me, Angie Mike. said, uh, Reezy, Reezy, sorry. Yeah. Reezy. No, I'm not, I'm not um, trying to be a dick. That, that's like, no, no, my no, that's family fine. calls me Mike. That's it's been, Reezy's been my nickname. My last name's well, Resendez. So I've been called Reezy for as long as I can remember. And so when people call me Mike, and I, I kind of feel like they're weirdly trying to be like, I know him really well. It's just what we do. Like I call, Ke- I, mean, I don't say Commonwealth Picker and I don't say Carrie American Arbitrage. I say Kevin yeah, yeah. Carrie. So uh, it's just name, what I do. My nickname has evolved. Okay, Reasel. Okay, no. Okay, so <laughs> the first question. Carrie, in all my editing, I did find some reselling talk. A little bit. And it mostly came from you. Really? And so I appreciate that. I just wanted to, like, not Kevin, not me, not any of the guest speakers that came on. Are it you was sure? Oh, it's all from you, man. And, like, you... I think are the one redeeming part of this show when it comes to reselling content. I think it's underappreciated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude. Yes. Yeah. It's like everyone thinks that Carrie is like, or maybe we paint the picture that you're just like this lazy buffoon or something. Yeah, which I is feel just, strongly it's, like that. It's us like trying to protect ourselves by yeah, downplaying like you. You're pushing your inadequacies yeah. upon me. I read that in a book. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I don't think you'll you see know. you'll see with this this footage I dug up that there is like this one redeeming quality. And I think if you wanted to, maybe you and Don could do a podcast. Uh, cause yeah, like this... the American Arbitrage podcast or something. Or Lady Arbitrage and Carrie. <laughs> I'd honestly like to be the title host personally, for real. Honestly, I think, you know, this day and age, Lady Arbitrage first would be the way to go. I think that would be yeah. a little bit better. I'm, chivalry isn't dead or whatever it's called chivalry yeah yeah i just think that our show clearly is gonna have to go but there's something i think on the horizon i think there's people who are making better podcasts maybe they can rise rise above what we've done there is not a ton of reselling content in this show but i think what we did offer will have a lasting effect kind of like a venereal disease true very true yeah, a good picker really can just adapt. I mean, you have to was, you have to adapt to everything you do, though. And we're just trying to adapt and figure it out, and we don't necessarily know the so answers. How long I mean, is Kevin always vintage? pretends he does. We're in the business of adapting or dying, <laughs> folks, and you got to adapt or you mm-hmm. will die on the vine. So when- it's this is a constant pre- process of adapting or going extinct would be a nice way to put it, but adapting or dying. Reselling is somewhat recession proof as far as like you can adapt. There's we can move fast overhead. and we can adapt. Yeah, and we don't have the yeah. overhead. You know, I learned very, very quickly in business that you have to constantly adapt. So we had to adapt. Me and Don have talked a lot about adaptation in this business, right? Yeah, get to adapt or die, basically. It's true. I mean, you have to you have to adapt or you'll go out of business. We've I mean, seen it so many times. We've seen it so much. Like, things change. You have to adapt. For 12 years that I've yeah. been in business, it's, mm-hmm. all it is is one constant adaptation. Yeah. Every time you get comfortable, you got to do something different. I think uh, that pretty much is it, man. Let's call Kevin and tell him this is going yeah, down. Yeah, it's like, time, dude. I call him up on the phone. Let's do it. I'm just so done. Put it on speaker so I can hear him. Yeah. Hey, hello. Kevin, it's Dave and Carrie here, man. How's it going? What's up, dude? I'm just filming a video. Listen, we've been looking at the reviews, thinking about the show, and and I think we got to just cancel the show. It's people don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> cancel the show. Well, I yeah, know that we're you gonna don't cancel. Like it. That's obvious. Yeah, yeah dude, we're, gonna, I'm we're done. Tired with the... of this, man. And I need the money. Oh, it's a deal's a deal. Oh, okay. deal's a deal. And I need the money. It's a deal's a deal. Oh, deal's a deal. So. Like, how many times? Like, what the I heck are I we doing? I said diarrhea like seven times. What's wrong with you? I have a lot of it, but I shouldn't be discussing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix that. I can fix that. <laughs> so let's just, like, look at the camera for, like, a second. Like, I'm going to cut it right after I have a lot of it. And we'll just look at the camera both, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just need to right okay. now. But let's do, like, a three-second break. What do you want to say? Yeah, or? Or nothing. <laughs> we'll look at it together and we both say, yeah, I think that'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I didn't do it right. Let's do it again. Sorry. On three? Uh, yeah. And the username on this, I especially honey. Yeah. Especially right about... <laughs> Should just end it with that. Would you laugh? Like, that's no, no, no. That's good. No, no, I don't think we should. I think we had to stick to it. <sighs> Our friend Reezy. Reezy resells. Yeah. All right. Ha, 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 ha.
Or Lady Arbitrage and Carrie. No, nah, I would like to be the title host. <laughs> Honestly, I think Lady Arbitrage first would be better. <laughs> Hold on. She's not We're starting listen. to lose it. We're She's right to... here. She's not even listening. Okay. I, uh, yeah, kind of like a venereal disease. <laughs> Yeah. Cancel the show. Well, I yeah, know that you don't cancel. like it. That's obvious. Yeah, yeah dude. We're, gonna, I'm we're tired the, of this, man. Yeah, we're done well, with the podcast. I can quit the show, but you guys got to keep doing it. I need the money. Oh. It's a deal's a deal. Oh. Okay. Deal's a deal. So oh. I'm out. Y'all can keep it up. I'll come by every once in a while for it. Uh, but, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Uh, all right. <laughs> you understand what you're saying? He's he drunk. <laughs> Wait, what does this mean, Carrie? Are we gonna keep doing it? Do you think right. he'll come on every show or just some? Papa said so. We got to do what he tells us to. Yeah, he had us do that contract. Yeah, I didn't read it. Yeah, it's a lot of pages. And it was in English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for watching this highlight show, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Later.